Does everybody have their stuff uh, turned on what enabled stuff? and enabled? Like the the business, everybody's got their correct microphone into the business. thingamabob? I do. Speaking uh, of microphones, looks like it. I, I did it. I bought the, the, the one. Oh, I'm not using God it right sake. now, but I, I did do it. <laughs> Why go. aren't you using it? You tested it last week and we told you how good it sounded as long as you put your face right up to it. Yeah, well, the thing is I don't have a boom yet. I'm going to buy a boom so that it's close to my face and then I'll probably start using it. I'm guessing you're going to go buy some, like, iron pipe and shit and, and splice together a no, boom. I think, boom. I, think I, might actually, yeah, I might actually exactly. put a proper boom on it because I'm thinking about doing away with all the iron <laughs> no, you pipe won't. monitor mounts. And I might actually just wall mount all of them right beside the computer, like right beside the tower because it's mounted to the wall amongst in the middle of the three of them. Well, that's sounding well, quasi-reasonable. I have a friend that when he started his own podcast, uh, he... Uh, he made his own boom microphone out of a rock star microphone and one of those like desk lamps. <laughs> he, <took the> <laughs> <out>. <laughs> he attached the, the he duct taped the microphone to that and it was his boom mic for his podcast for the first like a hundred episodes. Until <laughs> the sponsors perfect. started rolling in. I don't even think I they know. got any sponsors. Yeah, we, <laughs> we all know how much podcasters make. Well, yeah. yeah. Trax, let me know if this sounds any better. <laughs> Sounds because the rest of them don't really understand. Your sounds, voice sounds not like you. Your, your voice sounds different. I'll tell you that. Closer. What different doesn't tell me anything. Is different yeah. good or bad? Still sounds like you're far away from it. Yeah, which is, I mean, bound to happen for all the reasons I said it would. You sound clearer. Yeah, just far that wasn't going to stop me. Yeah, but you didn't buy the RGB one. What the fuck? Wait, he didn't? I know. I saw no. the RGB one at Best Buy, and I almost did it, but my wife looked very upset with me when I picked it up. Well, if you went with that and the regular and just used both of them, you'd have stereo sound, right? That's how that works. That, that is yep. true, and it wouldn't be that hard to convince me to do it. You see, if you had three more <laughs> wives, if you had three more wives, then you could have them put it to a vote. It is I know, more. right? I could have two other houses because they no. would have their own jobs paying for them, and then I would just go to the other ones with the other mics. If he had three other wives, he just would never be allowed to buy anything. That's the... If you don't think they would all team up against you, they totally would. Yeah, husbands. Yes. Well, she did say I could have other husbands, and I oh, do Oh, yeah, have we can hear that because of the bros. microphone you're using yeah. instead of the yeah, headset the mic. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We can like hear Tasha. Tasha. Tasha's a cast See, member now. Now she can be a part of it. Do you have that going to, to the now. recorder too? I'm on what? Yeah. Uh, right now it's being fed the whole way through just like it would normally be. Because right, the good. recorder feeds off my NVIDIA broadcast. Cool. We can hear everything she says. Everyone can. I think data's everything. Well, I'm probably going to go ahead and switch back before we... Oh, never mind. Oh, no, it's, it's been recording for a oh, few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tasha. <laughs> Sorry, listeners. <laughs> oh, Perfect. Yeah. Okay, Tasha signed the waiver a long time ago. We can use her voice. All right, well, time. just so she's not included anymore because she didn't look too happy about that. <laughs> I'm going to switch back to my headset. <laughs> well, huh. uh, it's December 26th, everybody. And uh, this what is... What year? What what year? No, I don't even... I don't, I don't go there. It's December 26th. This yeah. 164 episodes worth of this nonsense. And for some reason, you are still listening. Yeah. And for some reason, you're still doing it. That's right. I realize there's actually uh, 182 episodes because of all those special right. interview episodes that happened. The ones that didn't get numbers. A little half number. We got a couple half number ones in there, too. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. 100, 182 episodes overall. Fantastic. Well, because this is going to be the last one of the year, um, it's going to be a special one. We're going to chit-chat about all the nonsense and talk a lot about the show itself. And... I got statistics from the, the podcast, you know, uh, analytics, and Chig's got whatever stuff he he Chig makes up his own it's baseball a styles. Me, it's a Chig. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, that's on that's on the soundboard now. Oh, a la boy. Teflon. Congrats. It's a me. It's a Chig. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Um. 
<laughs> it's a me, it's a chig. <laughs> Disappointed! Come on, guys. Okay, uh, wow. Off to a roar and start. Well, um, I don't remember what I've done already and what I haven't done in this episode. So what's how, how's everybody doing? How was your how was your Christmas? We want let's let Chig talk and see what he says about what his Christmas was like. How you doing? No, I thought you were gonna say about what Christmas is. And and tell us about what the meaning of Christmas is. <laughs> <laughs> meaning of Christmas. The meaning. The whole meaning. Tell, tell us, Papa Chig. Well, I don't know. Like Commander Burr wished me like sent me a private message of of Merry Christmas. And I think what did I tell him? I said, here's to a day of eating cheese and drinking whiskey. And that's pretty much what Christmas means to me. So All right. That's all I Nothing got. Nothing wrong with that. that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. That's it. It's a me. That's it. It's a chig. <laughs> so, 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 chig and 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 drinking, cheese and drinking. I said yep. chig when I meant cheese. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Same thing. You already want you eat, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Both about as entertaining. <laughs> so, um, but all right. right. Family wise, wait. We had some game family over. Uh, <laughs> I got I got Rock Band 4 off of eBay for the family cuz when my daughter was really young we played it a lot when she was like super little my wife was into it and stuff so it was kind of a family activity and then like hadn't played it in years and then at a comic con recently they had Rock Band set up and my daughter and her friend that's all that they did at this comic con was sat and played Rock Band all day so then they <laughs> they said that you know she said she wanted it for Christmas and I don't know if you've gone looking for like the rock band games on xbox they're they're kind of expensive because they haven't made them in a few years and people and kind of want have those, all those things controllers again. and stuff exactly um so I, I i just kind of blew it off as yeah that's whatever then like like right at the beginning of december my me and my wife and daughter riding in the car and my daughter goes well i only want two things for christmas it's like, yeah, what's that? And she wanted a new flute. We bought her a new flute, too. That's fucking expensive. Let's not talk about that. And she wanted Rock Band. And I'm like, God damn it. She was <laughs> serious about that. So I actually had to find that. So we did a lot of Rock Band yesterday. Um, long. It, yeah. is, it, it still is. If you haven't played it in a while, it's, it is surprisingly addicting and, and a lot of fun. Yeah. I, well, I now know. that you have the controllers, Chig, I expect yes. to see you take down a Cyclops with it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I approve of that mission, but I'll have to do it in like you. Legacy because it's on console. So it's a USB oh, right. controller, isn't it? Yeah, but yes. I I actually have Elite Dangerous on the Xbox, so it would just make things really. It's no problem with with taking out a Cyclops in Legacy. Yeah, I, I, mean, I agree. I guess. Oh my god, yeah, he sounds problem? disgusted, doesn't he? He is. He's repulsed by the idea of legacy. <laughs> yeah. I and, and I think <laughs> just the word makes me cringe. <laughs> Actually, I, I like the idea, but I'm gonna do it dual guitar. With two guitars. <laughs> you gotta be like that. Uh, I don't know if you saw this girl on Twitch. Uh, she played Elden Ring with a controller and then she played another another game of Elden Ring at the same time with a dance pad. <laughs> oh God! I like so it. hands that on guitar and guitar. Uh, except, yeah. except we're gonna expect him to modify those two guitars so that it's actually one big double neck guitar. <laughs> you realize what hands yeah, on guitar and guitar is? This whole gag, right? Whole gag. Yeah, yeah. that's the, that's that's oh, it. Gag. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> Approved. <laughs> um, other than that, then busy with work. Um, you know, I've been able to go kill a few bugs, but. I, I'm kind of on this stupid mission, a very Chig-like mission. Um, yep. A, I had to get the last medal on Inara, so I had all of the <laughs> yep. medals, right? But now this is the new mission I'm on. I'm going to get one of every Elite. Elite 0, Elite 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and have one of each at the same time. Congratulations! So I, it, it, it's, it's just like the dumbest thing I could possibly try to do and I'm working on some plant gunning right now to get that because I needed to get that up to elite three 
is that that's what that so you're going for a cascade of elites yes elite zero through five or elite one through six i guess i don't know how to number them they're just so dumb (laughs) but (laughs) there's just too many all that shit you talked the last time you went playing get in and now you're going back yeah yeah well the payout's been buffed yeah it shouldn't take as long well actually but no but the 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 ranks have been realigned so yeah i turned in uh 400 million and i'm still at zero percent through elite zero that is a graphic bug you are probably considerably closer to elite one than the graph is showing you yeah yeah so that that means when i'm going for this i got to be careful that i don't accidentally shoot past to like elite five because then the whole mission is dead is there a reference for what the value is so that you can manually monitor it not yet I don't trust anything I see. Because, like, <laughs> remember when I went for, when I first got Elite on that, I was going off of by what, uh, like, the wiki said and stuff. And then the numbers I got were so much different than what they had that I just don't trust. There, There is no really mm-hmm. good yeah. reference. And with there being a graphical bug where you have no idea exactly where you're at as you're going through each level, <sighs> I love you, Elite. I, I never really, changed. Yeah. Well, out, out plant gunning too, there's this new bug that's just awesome is, you know, you have to keep getting out of your SRV to scan something, then get back in your SRV, go to the next one, jump out, you know, you had to get what biodiversity, you can't scan just multiple things in the same area. But what's happening is about every 10th to 12th time I get out of the SRV, it goes black screen. And oh. the game is still like running. It's not locked up because I can... I can exit to main menu, uh, Mm. which is fine and dandy, but when you exit to main menu, when you come back in, your SRV is back on your ship in orbit, and you're on the planet. So wait, this is the same bug that that Grover pointed out to us months and months and months ago, previous to this update. That was fixed at some point, they said. Oh, was it fixed? Well, I don't know. Oh, was it? They say things are fixed. It's obviously not fucking fixed. So I've I've been dealing with that. So last night, the guys were killing bugs. I jumped the 25 jumps back to the bubble just to kill bugs with them because, you know, I I was really fed up with the whole plant getting BS. And I was killing bugs with probably a couple hundred million in plant data on my ship uh, because, you know, "Ah, I like to live dangerously. So, yeah. Yeah, killing so, bugs isn't that hard. No, well, no. Yeah, <laughs> we, honestly, we don't die unless we're really messing around, like going small ships or really. Yeah, honestly, dude, just we did we did a around. piranha squad the other night. I flew the whole time in in an AX conflict zone in a Diamondback Scout, and I died one time, and it was because I accidentally boosted into the ground. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I actually lost yeah, my mom to that. I killed everything that night besides uh, I didn't, we didn't face any Hydra, but I killed uh, dozens of Cyclops and uh, one Basilisk turned up and one Medusa. Nice. Eh, not that hard. All right. That's enough of chick ducking. Move on. <laughs> All right. Dubs, what you been doing for a week? Oh, just, you know, your standard Christmas nonsense. Uh, the father-in-law came down to visit, so I haven't been on the game at all. We were out doing stuff that he wanted to do, doing things around the local area. And then, uh, yeah, just run-of-the-mill Christmas. Nothing special going on here. What did you get for Christmas? Oh, me? Uh, I yeah. got a massive new 3D printer that prints at 400 millimeters a second. So I think it's pretty impressive. Uh, nice. And then he decided to buy the children this big electric piano thing that makes a lot of noise and they love beating on the keys oh oh nice. that's 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 <laughs> oh man that's a crime yeah it is <laughs> I, I should send them a he, drum he performed set it's a domestic pretty, abuse on you <laughs> it's, yeah. a, it's a pretty standard grandparent tactic show up buy the oh, kids something Lord. that makes a bunch of noise then go home yep buy them a noise <laughs> maker and leave yep Classic. that's exactly what happens <clears throat> yep jeez but, uh, uh, yeah. All right. All right. I guess I'm going to leave myself in the list this time. I am i haven't played very much. We did that one. We did the Piranha Squad night, like I said. I think we did that on Wednesday? Uh, uh, yes. I don't yeah. remember. Yeah. Yeah. It was like Wednesday. so long ago now. 
Yeah, it was a lot of fun, though. Uh, various people turned up throughout the evening and um, played at a surface site. And one interesting thing that, that I think I may have discovered or figure out anyway is um, that the... Uh, um, Sorry, I'm getting distracted. The uh, uh, the thing where the Thargoids will suddenly just fly straight up away from the planet when you're trying to fight them, they'll just beeline for space. Right. Uh, I followed it. So it was the this Medusa. I followed it up, 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 up. And when we got to around 170 kilometers, it stopped going up and it turned to face me. And then it deployed a swarm and it wouldn't come back down. So... Huh. You cheeky it's bastards. It's possible they're climbing to get to where they're allowed to deploy a swarm. I'm I don't know for sure. I'm just going to pretend it's the real reason. Like, I don't care if it's, yeah. I'm just going to, I'm just going to decide right now it's a feature. So this is, yeah, this is another, like, is it a feature or a bug? I don't know, but it did happen this one time. This is the first time I've continued to follow it all the way up there. Actually, the last time this happened, it was a basilisk and we killed it before it got that high. Uh, so the Medusa had the staying power to survive long enough. It's actually really hard to hit them when they're when they're just flying right away from you um, to put up enough damage and and to actually and considering when they if you exert a heart in that situation they're not going to turn. You're not going to be able to just shoot it or orbit them. You have to chase them from behind or try to get up next to them and so on. It's not great. It's not See, great. I had cannon it just real simple. I had cannon that it went oh shit it's Chig and it's just running away and I just yeah I'm like bye. Right. I'll wait for something else. <laughs> it's hard work chasing them. Yeah. As you said, they, they move fast. Right, right. Um, but anyway, other than that night, yeah, I haven't really been playing. Um, I think I may have tried to get on it at one other point, and the mission boards were being uh, stupid, so I just did other things. So we had, yeah, we had our uh, Christmas time. Our kid's seven, so Christmas is still fun and simple. <laughs> like um, us <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. yeah um she got a lot of new books she loves books and some mm. stuff for her uh she has these little things these little animal figurine things and they have houses and cars and all kinds of stuff she gets all these little extra figures for her oh man she loves that crap anyway um yeah Ate some food, were merry, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and here we find ourselves. And now I'm uh, running passengers on the next target system while we podcast. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> One and all. One and all. Well, Nurgle, what's been up with you? Uh, you know, like everybody else, had a bunch of family over for Christmas. Um, you know, packed them all into my house because... I don't know why we have to have Christmas at my house. That's that's my bah humbug moment every year. Um, didn't get to play all that much over the weekend because you know we were doing all sorts of family stuff. But uh, the good news is, last Thursday, after a two year battle with my insurance company, I'm finally getting a new roof on the house. So that's Ooh, uh, yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. So you we finally dry out the living room, huh? <laughs> well, <laughs> it wasn't quite that bad, but we weren't far from it. Um, I mean, two years ago, because it was originally hurricane damage, uh, the, the insurance company's own adjuster said, yeah, you need a new roof. The shingles are over 25 years old. Hmm. You know, you can't patch it. And then, of course, you know, it went through whatever corporate level C-suite people, and they started saying, no, they're not going to replace the roof. But... They're now they're now going to pony up and replace the roof. So life is good. <laughs> we get to go tomorrow and sign some paperwork and talk about what type of shingles we want. The engineers were actually, or engineers, the foreman of the repair crew was actually at the house today because there's some other there's a couple of pieces of fascia and some stuff that needs to get replaced too. So he was costing all of that out and going with asphalt shingles. Yeah, classic. I mean, they, they do ask the question, <clears throat> would you like to have a metal roof? Yes, I would love to have a metal roof, but insurance is already going to drop 15 grand on this, and I don't happen to have another 30 lying around for the metal, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, but no, I would love to have a metal roof, but that's that's not in are the they, cards. Are they better? Are they, like, all around better to have? I don't yeah. know. 
if yeah. they're properly they're stronger. installed. They're going to last longer. Yeah, that's the big thing. They're going to last forever. The, the only downside would be <laughs> that they could be noisier in certain weather, right? And I, that's probably being mitigated by modern install techniques, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Well, insulation. Yeah. Yeah, and they don't. I mean, Your sound guy, you know this. They're just so much tougher. But and, and like uh, like Teflon, th- our Christmas dinner was a Mexican feast. Yes, sir. So it's the only way to go. We we never do a traditional Christmas. It's always Mexican or Italian or something. And and this mm-hmm. year it was a huge Mexican feast. We had about fifteen people in the house. We had. Chicken and beef and burritos and tacos and refried beans and all the goodies and Ooh. followed that up with a copious amount of alcohol. Did you and talk to your <laughs> insurance company about your plumbing replacement <laughs> after that. <laughs> <laughs> Bring Rotor well, Reader out with the. No, I've, 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 I've already lost the battle years ago with the insurance company over the plumbing and had all that replaced anyway. But that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> we we actually we at one point we had a. Uh, a leak under the slab, no, um, because you know it's, a, it's it's a slab house. We had a, and this was seven eight years ago. We had a leak under the slab, and the insurance company was like, "Yeah, that's outside the house. We're not covering it." <laughs> so that's, that's criminal. So yeah, so you know, forty eight hundred dollars came out of my pocket to redo the whole house with PEX. Of course, now I've got PEX in the house instead of cheap ass good, uh, yeah, PVC pipe, but. So, I mean, but that was, that was painful and I'm sure going through the roof is going to be painful too, but it's the last roof I'm ever going to have to put on a house. So <laughs> I'll, I'll be in a retirement home before it needs another one. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, you're not outliving any roofs. <laughs> and, it'll, and it'll be my kid's problem. So, <laughs> but wow. yeah. And I actually yeah, they want, you to, they want I, you to do the primo, the premium shingles, so oh, they get yeah. good resale value out of yeah. it. Well, yeah, they could they could, <laughs> they could pony up for that if they're looking that far ahead, and I don't think they are. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I, I didn't. I, I played a little bit Saturday morning and didn't play at all yesterday, and got on this morning to actually do some some gameplay in Elite, only to find out that I'd been bitten by the uh, mission boards don't work bug. So. So don't get me started. Oh. Did, have they did recovered? you get anything cool for Christmas? Yeah, I, I got this afternoon. Um, the mission boards were back up, at least where I was playing, so I was able to do some things. Christmas for me, I, I am, I am bah humbug, and you know, my wife and I just had our thirtieth wedding anniversary. So a long time ago, we we reached the agreement that we don't go overboard on each other for Christmas. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, I got a. It, and I've gone through this for her with years. Every year I ask for a really nice planner journal for the coming year for Christmas. Every year she says, you know, that's something you can buy for yourself. Like, I'm not going to spend 40 <laughs> she, she doesn't think it's an appropriate Christmas gift because it's something you, huh. you I was like, I, I'm not going to spend $40. Right. <laughs> I'm not going to spend $40 on myself on a really nice journal. That's why I asked for it for Christmas. So, God, so you're making it so easy. For. I know. Yeah. And, and then she got me a, a brand new set of rechargeable earbuds. Um, nice. Yeah, wireless earbuds, which which what, I've needed for a while. Uh, shit, I'd have to go look at the box to tell you. Yeah, this newfangled technology with you old folks can yes. be tricky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't care what name is on them. All I care is that they work. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So who's next? Um, hate. I'm going to stick with my normal order, even though Data joined us just now. He's going to oh, have that to wasn't yeah. Dubs. That wasn't Dubs at all. Hey, though. you guys. Hate. NL Hate. How you been? Man, I I've been just swell. Took several days off work. I played some video games. We had some holidays. I spent eight hours in the kitchen cooking, and then like my like fridge that. is still full of cooked food. I feel mm. that too. And yeah, I fear I'm going to have to throw some away. It's <gasps> just, just terrible. But uh, I got a, I got a metal brain teaser that I'm really excited about. I, I haven't figured it out yet. And I've, I've put like 10 plus hours on this thing. Oh, wow. Uh, Do you metal, mean like it's uh, it's like a puzzle? Like, 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 it's, yeah. it's, 
like the two nails in the ring or whatever, like those little puzzles your grand grandpa always had at his house. Yeah, but okay. how do you know his grandpa? Oh. We go way back. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, like just like that, but way way harder. You have to. Just the nails are pretty hard. Uh, and made of steel. Uh, but yeah, I got cool. to see a bunch of a bunch of my. <laughs> My wife's extended family and and all their their new kids and their new kids. Uh, my wife's family is growing really rapidly. And uh, my all twenty three the of them. They're expanding at an exponential rate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> last Christmas, her side of the family was considering renting out a venue to have this year's Thanksgiving and Christmas because there are Ooh. so many people. Great Scott. Yeah. Numerous. Yeah. But, uh, and, and like knock on wood, the family is only getting bigger, which is better than the alternative. Yeah. And all all 23 yeah. of them. Yeah. Well, it depends on the family really. They're, they're good people and I like their company. I care about most of them. All right. <laughs> I'll accept that Uncle Steve. That guy can die. Yeah, fuck that dude. Fuck yeah, I hate fuck that, that guy. guy. Every, every family has one. I, I'm that guy, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he's coming. If you, oh, if you don't know who it is. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I know who it is in my family, so I know just, it's not me. Just send out the big block of cheese to keep him quiet throughout dinner. <laughs> it's a me. It's a jig. It's a me. It's a jig. <laughs> but, uh, you know, but looking back on, on where I've been, I definitely am um, going down the right path because looking where I'm going looks good, too. Looking kick, good. Kick ass. Yeah. Amen, brother. All right. Baton passing time. Teflon. Yo. My turn. What's up? What's up, dude? What's up? Oh First of all, I need to apologize, Trax, because uh, I didn't realize Inucaster wasn't recording my audio until like eight minutes into the show, into the recording. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I fixed it. And the, I didn't talk much before Wait, that, Mark. You, so. you, mean, you mean before? Oh, oh okay. So just in, you don't mean eight minutes ago. You mean? No, no. The first oh, okay. eight minutes. I just didn't okay. bring it up until now because it's my turn to talk. And it's relevant. All right. Uh, so yeah, sorry about that. That's right, on I'll me. Figure it out. That's my fault. Um, anyway, um, so Christmas has been very busy. I played a little bit of the game. Um, I was on when we did the Piranha Squad AX night, and I brought in my courier, which did okay. It just needs some engineering. Uh, I died by um, smacking the ground after I got um, <laughs> hit by the shutdown field. So that was fun. Yeah, gotta be careful of that. Um, um, but that was fun, and that was a fun night. Uh, you know, fighting Thargoids, planet side in smaller ships. Um, Christmas stuff. Who man, the storm came through here, and we lost we lost power to half the house. Like the, oh, like okay, one half, like one side of our whole house lost How? power. Are you on different boxes? How, how does that happen? I don't know. <laughs> but depending on how the house is wired, if you only lost one leg, like did all of your 220 appliances stop working as well, like the stove and dryer and shit? No. Oh. They did not. Yeah, because you got two you got two phase power coming in. Right? The three that is the two wires did, plus did it, the neutral. Did it come back or is it still gone? We we fixed it except for uh, there's two plugs in the kitchen that we haven't figured out why they're not working. But the rest the rest of the house it, is back on and, and working fine and doing great. Did it just trip breakers or did the power just go out? That sounds it's, like GFIs if they're just ones in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, it, well, yeah. the they two there's only those. the two the two in the kitchen are the only ones left that aren't working. That that they've got the I reset believe. right on yeah. them. Did you hit that individual well, resets? It, some, sometimes I had a house that where this, it, it was actually the upstairs GFI would also chain with the kitchen one. So the only the upstairs had a switch on it. Oh, <laughs> it took me a while to figure that one out. <laughs> the wiring in the house is all kinds of weird. It is, um, 
And Same. We're going to put more time to fi- into figuring it out when it's not winter. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to get it all But those, out. those can trip if something else goes out. I, I've, now, I've seen that happen before. So anyway. So that happened. And then, uh, but it was all good. I mean, we still had heat and things like that. And we thought, it's okay. We'll see what we can do the next day. Well, then we wake up and then like the water's the water's frozen. It turns out oh. on that same side, the heat tape that was on our piping was oh. was was also on that uh, oh. on on that side of the power. Oh, oh, didn't God. break any pipes though, did you? Did it burst? No, mm. no, none of them burst. And have they thawed? I mean, have my they father-in-law yet? got the salamander, and um, it doesn't get co- as cold here like it does in South Dakota. So um, if we had like, been living like, there. They would still be frozen. They would probably be frozen until April. Uh, Is that like one of the turbine heaters, the salamander? Yes. Like yeah. Torpedo looking things. Yeah. Okay. So he he brought the salamander over, and we got that um, figured out um, right after we got the power uh, thing figured out. So, and then that was the day before. That was Christmas Eve when we when we did all that. So it was a very busy Christmas Eve. And then uh, the next day we had uh, Christmas Day, and it was. <laughs> A wonderful day, just you know, watching the kids open presents, uh, eating a lot of Mexican food. We actually also had a uh, put back potato bar, um, or at least yeah, I, I saw say, the picture. I, I say bar, but it's more like part of the table where you could um, dress up your put back potatoes however you wanted on them. Um, and it was really good food. Um, I don't think I, after that, when we came, finally came home, I don't think I'd left the bathroom for three hours <laughs> um, oh. you also um eating that much mexican food you have to have a bunch of tums you have to have a bottle of tums on standby um, yeah. i know nurgle didn't mention that but i guarantee you he knows you got some aloe indeed. infused wipes in yes, the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh uh for christmas uh so my wife and i we also have the understanding like we're we're adults with adult money. When we want something, we can just buy it, right? Um, so, but we do we do get it for each other for Christmas, but it's never like, you know, it's never like surprise. You know, we always know what we're getting, and it's mainly just so the kids know that we have presents to open on Christmas. Uh, right. So the things that I got that she got me, I got a the Crafters Dungeon for, uh, you know, I you guys will. Feel the effects of this book when I'm done reading it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got another book, uh, the One Year Novelist, because I'm interested in trying to do creative, some creative writing. So hopefully, I can keep up with that. Um, also, since I'm so much into history, I have this uh, this day in history calendar my wife got me to keep on my desk for all of next year. With nice things that happened this day in history, and I'm super excited for that. Sweet, we're gonna add that at the end of the show when we do movies and stuff. <laughs> okay. Beef, uh, forewarned, yeah, everybody, like it's that. coming in. And we did a Christmas exchange. We did a gift exchange at my in-laws' house, um, and my uh, my wife's grandmother got me um, um, a bunch of Cajun and Creole seasoning, and so I can't wait to put those to use. Oh, and yeah, baby. And she got me uh, a hand mixer. And the reason she got me a hand mixer is because about a month or two ago, um, I had chocolate chips in the kitchen. And I got I got in my head, you know, I really want to make some chocolate chip cookies. Um, the problem with that was it was like 11 o'clock at night when I was out there using the mixer to make cookie dough. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, to be fair, and my wife was totally in the right. She was like, she came out of the bedroom like, like it's mixed. Whatever you're mixing, it's mixed. Like, <laughs> you're done. <laughs> I'm shutting you down. It's done. <laughs> so my my her grandma got me a hand mixer so it doesn't make so much noise at night if I get want to make cookies in the middle of the night. You get one of your. Why do you need to make cookies in the middle of the night? Cookies. <laughs> midnight baking. I don't. That I don't normally do that. It just was a funny instance of that happening. Wow. Uh, so yeah, and, but I mean, it was a good holiday. It was 
we had a uh, other than the electrical and the um, plumbing issues that are now work pretty much worked out. Um, it's been it's been a really great holiday. So sweet. That's that's Who's weird next? gifts you mentioned. I got like an assortment of salts, which I found. You know, you hear like cooking shows <laughs> be, like a Himalayan, a Himalayan salt. Yeah, salts. S A L T S. So and they're for I got, cooking. Like, yeah, for like cooking. Like it's like eight different random okay. salts, and I'm like, huh. <laughs> so now I'm gonna have to like side by side taste test every one of them, just so I could see <laughs> what the fuck. I just it, assumed salt was salt, but it, hey. And, and I would just like to add, since this came up in another context recently, you know when you pick up one of those things of salt and you look at it, it's got an expiration date on it. <laughs> Think about that for a minute. 200 it's million a, year old. Himalayan it's a salt. mineral. <laughs> yeah. They're, Jesus, they're minerals, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Marie. I got, I got the spices and stuff because I've always loved cooking. So like, I like now that I'm a housewife. House husband, <laughs> uh, I do it all the time, and yeah, uh, so yeah, I, and that's I, just, and the same. Yeah, I love to cook. I do not love to bake. That is my wife. My yeah, wife, my wife loves does, to bake. Yep, my wife is the baker. Mm. I am the cook. Yeah, cook. my and, wife's the baker. I'm the cook. Same thing. Yeah, and I just I should have mentioned this earlier that dessert for Christmas. My wife had this grand idea to use brownie mix to make a bunt cake. Cover mm. it with a chocolate ganache and serve that with some vanilla ice cream. And hmm. I have to admit mm. that was outstanding. That does sound mm. outstanding. By the outstanding. way, shout out, shout out to my beautiful wife Sarah uh, because she makes the fucking most bomb ass, like greatest, like uh, Christmas cookies ever. I cannot get enough of them. Mm. All right. Oh well, now, see all the guys at work love my wife because I don't like eat sweets and stuff like that. Very much. My wife yeah. loves to cook it, to cook stuff like that. So she's always making it and then just sending it to work with me. Yeah, and those people are like a, a bunch of sharks swimming around a chum thing in the ocean. They were just <laughs> hovering because she <laughs> dropped off. Hey, she hey. makes these mini apple pies and these mini pumpkin pies and then brings some blood. Cool Whip and some Ready Whip. And yeah. oh my God. Yeah. All of the guys there. It was just insane watching them go to town on those <laughs> yeah. today. She walks I, I and carries food, thing. and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, somebody shouts, "Blood the water!" Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> I, get, I got last week before we all left for for Christmas. I was getting, "What's your wife baking over the Christmas? What are you bringing yep. in on Tuesday?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. So, all right. Yeehaw. Is all it right. Data's turn now? It's Frax. finally going to be Data's turn. <clears throat> Welcome. How Hi. you doing? I just came downstairs from holding a little beautiful baby boy, so I'm doing very well. You're all yeah. sleeping and quiet. Yeah, he was your baby boy. <laughs> not even a stolen one or anything. No, not off the street. Yeah, something's time. change, I guess. Yeah, so my this time. <laughs> my life is bottles and diapers at the moment, so that's that's okay. We uh, our Christmas was different this year because we're isolating pretty hard, trying to avoid yeah. the RSV and all those all those things. We've had a couple, three friends whose little babies have ended up in the hospital with that stuff. So mm. we're trying. Absolutely. Didn't do any didn't do any gathering for eating. Some people came over just to drop off, drop off their gifts and leave. Which is not nice. <laughs> Give us stuff. Not as go good away. as it gets. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's no, it. No, you've, no. You've, you've found the dream. <laughs> you hand yeah. them a taco and say and send them on their merry way. <laughs> yeah, a taco and set, a tums. Set your gift on the front porch. I will bring it in and spray it down with Lysol before. Why? It's, it's, it's like to the quarantine room. Yeah. It's like in TV shows when they're talking to somebody in a prison on the phones through the plexiglass. <laughs> like I, I bring the baby up to the glass storm door and like show him through the glass so they can see, <laughs> so they can see the baby. You have like a, you have like a, a line of tape somewhere on the porch. It's like six feet back, like from the door. Yeah, no touching. No stay, touching. Stay back here. Time's up. So yeah. Yeah, that all that I went just fine. We I did all my preparations for the winter storm. We didn't get a lot of snow, but get a bit of ice and cold, really cold for us, like like everyone else. Fueled up, got all my fuel cans filled up, which ensured that we didn't lose power at all right. throughout all of it. So that, that worked out just fine. 
Uh, I've I've haven't played in the past couple of days very much. I've ran over to that uh, mega ship in distress in uh, Lu Hong Lu Huang. Whenever Lu that Huang. system is active, yeah, <laughs> Lu Huang, <laughs> Lu, Lu, <laughs> Lu Huang, <laughs> Lu Kang, <laughs> fight, <laughs> fatality. Right. Oh, oh, I meant to say, poor Chig. His for his Christmas, he was assaulted. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, oh! He probably deserved it. <laughs> uh, so that's yeah. I missed out on Piranha Squad night. I wanted to make it to that, but couldn't couldn't make it happen. Oh, hey, we'll man. do it again. Uh, yeah. yeah, we'll do it again. It'll happen again. What kind of ships were were people using? Like couriers and vultures. A lot of couriers. Sort of yeah, yeah. I showed up in <clears throat> I Eagle. Okay. I'm going to do something was, different than my career next time. Were people using like sh- the modified shards or the... I was thinking I about did. the new missiles. I was thinking about the new... new yeah, there's a lot of perhaps. couriers. I had a scout. Um, I Honestly, the, between that and Chig's Eagle, that might have been it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. not a whole lot of branching out <clears throat> there, I guess. Wasn't somebody in a Cobra? I feel like somebody was in a I Cobra. I don't think I saw a Cobra. So, hmm. I don't I know. I can swear someone was blooming. What was blooming? Right. Like? Blooming, blooming was, in, was a, in a vulture. He was in a vulture. I think Roy oh, okay. Roy Cookson was our resident cobra enjoyer. I don't know. I can swear somebody was in a cobra. Somebody will let us know. Yeah, I think Kiwi or they went on an Whatever. exploration exploration trip. But uh, yeah, I've, I've played a couple hours of uh, that high on life game <laughs> today. I'm it's, it's, right now. It's, it's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. It's, I won't play it anymore. My Game Pass expires tomorrow. Oh, shit. So I'm glad <laughs> I got to try it out. I got enough out of it. Not going to purchase it. No. To me, it's the, the, the first gun you get, his voice, it's fucking just Morty. So it's, it's just Morty. Morty yelling at you and cussing at you a lot. It's 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 funny. I don't know. I enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. yeah it, was, it was fine. Yeah, it was fine. Um Yeah. I've been playing. Uh, I was telling Teflon the other night. I've been playing... Final Fantasy VII on my Nintendo Switch. I guess where Nintendo has the deal with Square Enix now. Congratulations! Oh, do they? That's yeah, weird. Yeah, so I've been having that blast from the past, from the PlayStation One days on you, my Nintendo. You want to? You want to? You want to? Guys, you guys want to know a hot take about Final Fantasy? Yeah, sure. I've I've only ever played and beaten one Final Fantasy game, and it was Final Fantasy Fifteen. Hmm. I played I the very first <clears throat> Final Fantasy, and like, I had borrowed it from a dude that lived next door, and well, next door to my grandma's house, and his bedroom window is like three feet away from my bedroom window. That's how close the houses were together. So I was beating the original Final Fantasy, and he, I told him, "I'm at the final boss." He goes, "Oh my God, you made it to Chouse?" I'm like, "Chouse." Chaos, what? dude. <laughs> you didn't know. The, <laughs> the, 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 boss, the final boss was chaos, and he was amazed I had made it to Chaos. <laughs> oh my god. And That's then funny. I, I still make fun of him to the, to this day about that one. We always uh, talk about the Chaos of the holidays and stuff like that. <laughs> but but uh, I never played a Final Fantasy after that ever because to me, I'm like, Jesus Christ, I played the Final Fantasy. I'm not playing any others. <laughs> <laughs> it made <Yeah>. me angry. <laughs> I played. So. I never beat any of them. I played seven, and I played Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy Tactics, both PlayStation yeah, One I, games. To be fair, I would have. I would have beaten, played, and beaten Final Fantasy Tactics because I was playing it. If somebody didn't steal my Game Boy <laughs> Advance or whatever it was, Son I was playing on. Oh. So, so I really enjoyed yeah. Tactics. There, there's, there's things about it that are definitely dated like gameplay wise like the puzzles and running back and forth yeah. to different rooms gathering things luckily it's kind of like you know stuff on uh it's got some emulator characteristics like you can press a button and you move three times faster stuff like that so oh you can it's, like fast forward yeah yeah so that's that's nice um that's been that's been my story for the past week Sweet. All right. All right. Um, I realize I forgot to say uh, my wife did get something for me. She got 
it, it's not here yet though because it's like an Etsy thing and it's shipping is crazy. This happened with like five different gifts for five different people across our whole like family and friends unit. Um, um, the, the things like didn't arrive in time this year for all the reasons. Um, but anyway, she got me this, it's, it's like a desk thing with a, like etched glass with an image and there's like light. I don't know if you're picturing this thing, it's like oh, a yeah. sheet of glass with etched things. Yeah. So, and it's got a, uh, Crite Mark II diagram, uh, and I guess the guy, sh- the guy didn't have the ship she asked for, so he sent, or is sending, or I don't know, along with it also a Federal Corvette and an FDL. Wow, sheet that can be cool. like inserted into it and stuff. So I've, I've I've seen pictures of it only, but and a Thargoid's about to blow me up because I got that sounds really cool. I for the and I couldn't part. get away. Yeah, I'm plant anyway. gunning. <laughs> I'm actually going to get my anaconda blown up. This ship is not, you can't always get away with this ship. Hey, risky. Anyway. All right, very first trip out of the SRV, black screen when I went to get back in. Whoops. God damn it. <laughs> so why are, you, why are you Are you? Are you on a plant gunting expedition again? Or what's Yeah, going on? while I was staying, I'm doing a very chig-like thing. I'm trying to collect one of each of the uh, elites, zero through five. <laughs> okay. So. So, so one in each, one in each category. Yeah, I'm on to have a zero. That you know, CQC will obviously be just <laughs> elite. Combat yeah. will be elite one. Exploration is already elite five. Trade is going to be elite four. Plant gunning is going to be elite three, and mercenary is going to be elite two. So I'm going right. to have one of each. So I'm on that mission right now. It's fucking painful. How's your Inara badge mission coming along? That's how got you them all. A picture. Yeah, got yeah all. I got them all. Yep. <laughs> I collected nice. them all. Yeah, so that that's good. Well, Scotty got it before I did. He posted it, and I was like, I'm like, God damn it. I would have loved to post that day that I already had that, buddy. But no, yeah. because of the mission boards, because I was on a mission to get that. But it was when the mission boards went down, I just was screwed. And that mission board thing is really freaking freaking annoying when you can't turn in missions. All of a sudden, it... That's always when I've encountered it. Yeah. I've, I've I encountered have it. missions and can't turn them in. Yeah, and it's like, what the goddamn hell? And then, like, for some reason, like, half of them expire, and the other one, half I can still turn in, even though they are expired. I don't know, you know, when I finally am able to log back on, it's just oh, huh. stupid. I've had weird stuff with that. But, That's yeah. weird. Well, I need to exit. My SRV is going to be back in my ship in orbit, and I'm going to be on the planet's surface. <sighs> All right. Um, okay. okay. Well, that shall we shall we go on and do some uh, yeah do some do some stuff. Let's right. let's catch up with our with our squadron, shall we? Uh, yes, we shall. Okay. Fantastic. Oh, shut up! I was about to push that. <laughs> I was about to push that, one, dude. All right, here we go. Here we go. Incoming priority message. Squadron briefing. So, actually, a kind of a busy week on the uh, the faction side. A couple of us have even come back from fighting Thargorge to come back and do some faction work. We've got a war going on in HIP 4907, which we kind of need to win and get that straightened out. We're up 2-0 to o in that right now. We have an election for control of Lambda Andromeda that is going on right now. That is tied 1-1. Uh, there are a couple of people working on that. We could use some more. That's one we really need to win. We need to keep control of that system. And Somebody's been trying to uh, take advantage of us out fighting Thargoids to spread some fuckery. Um, we have two kind of dangerously overheating systems in Ross 310 and 6 Andromeda that are both approaching 70%. Um, in the past week, we have retreated from Yamaya, which is not a bad thing. That's one of those Antal systems that we're probably better off not having to worry about. Um, at the moment, we are shedding some influence in Midgard with the goal of eventually allowing ourselves to retreat out of Midgard because we're going to make space for our new neighbors in Ultra Garnier to step in and take over that system. Again, that's one of those Antal systems that are a better fit. It's better to have them in charge there. 
Um, and we have decided that if some of these systems are going to go crazy, we are going to control where we expand for them. So we're actually trying to pump up Balmus to expand. We've got it to 72.6%. So if you have any bounties or anything like that for loose screws, please uh, preferentially drop them off in Balmus. And that is what is going on in the faction. The detail for all of those are in the standing orders post in the loose screws faction section of the Discord if you need more information. All right. And uh, also in that, that that is where we're posting our current uh, uh, target for Thargoid War yeah, stuff, do we, right? So, yeah. So the um, we are focusing on the Oya Maelstrom uh, the the target because it's near to us. Yes, because it's about thirty light years from Balmus, the closest system. So that's knocking on the front door. Uh, this in this cycle, because the, the server cycles for that run on power play, so they're Thursday to Thursday morning. The uh, the primary target was Liu Huang, uh-huh. uh, which which <laughs> we have successfully go ahead, which we have successfully defended. <laughs> Uh, we have moved on to Munchniks, Munchhicks, M-U-C-H. Munchkins. Yeah. Munchkins. Munchkins. Munch, oh, Munchkins, is, Munchkins has become canon. The actual system is M-U-C-H-I-H-I-K-S. Munchhicks. Munchkins. Yeah. Um, which Munchkins. is now the target. And if, and if we finish uh, Munchniks or Munchhicks, uh, before Thursday, we're going to shift to HIP eighty five twenty five. There's a there's a chance here that we can flip three systems uh, in this cycle, which which would be nice because the um, AXI has been focusing on Tyrannus, and they have managed to completely get containment. So they've got all of the alert and uh, invasion systems handled. There's nothing but Thargoid controlled systems left, and they learned in this cycle that. We are hilariously ill-equipped to try to take back uh, a, a Thargoid-captured system. They they pounded on it for a couple of days and were barely able to make any progress at all with thousands of commanders. Mm-hmm. But I didn't mm-hmm. see also that uh, Operation Ida, the guys who do all the transporting, said that it's like utterly pointless to try to help do the repair it, on systems because it systems that, are Yeah, automatic. that just came out today, yeah. Yeah, I added that to the show notes. What they're saying is not that it's pointless to try. What they're saying is it progresses regardless of player input. Okay. Which, like which means... Status, that, <laughs> the open show recovery, notes. <laughs> yeah, recovery status like does not have... It's not impacted at all Like because they, yeah. they, have, they have a spreadsheet full of data. So I shared a link to the forum post that they have. You can find it on their Discord as well, but they... Can't. Um, can, yeah, like they, they put a ton of power of work into something and they put almost none into something else and got exactly the same result. Yeah. So, so every, can, can we make it go faster? No. No, we have wow. no influence wow. whatsoever. Wow. It progresses regardless of player and it, input. You're going to gain one Chevron every <clears throat> 13 point something hours. They have it calculated out to the seconds. Intended yeah. or not, that's for you to decide. <laughs> yeah, so the only reason to go there is if you like doing delivery and you like the missions they're posting there, because that's that's the only thing that goes on in those systems is deliveries for, for you know, recovery materials or whatever. And, and it doesn't matter if you do them or not. It only matters <laughs> to you. So Right. That makes me but, mad. <laughs> it, well, yeah, it kind of does. But, you know, it you look does. at how they've done some other things that kind of negate effort. Um, which we don't need to go back into, but yeah. it seems it seems to be the way they do things. And I'm you know, going to go with instead of angry, I'm disappointed. Very yeah, disappointed. We could just, yeah, we could just do that because, like, it's, I just hate it. Because they're like, oh, this thing's going on, and if you don't, if you guys don't do stuff uh, about it, then it's going to run wild, and then stuff like this. It's like, well, there's there's no point in doing anything about that. And right. for recovery systems because like it's just going to recover so on it, its own. So it, right, it's effectively cool. it's a wasted phase. Um, yeah, why so it's yeah. a phase Even that's like in that. there for no reason, right? I guess it spawns missions, but so do a bunch. You know, so do other systems. I don't know. Yeah, uh, you can get mission. You can get missions to do fucking anything stuff that anywhere. actually like, helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So what, what's the point of having a Thargoid recovery yeah. system? I don't know. It, it's this is the day after it, Christmas, and I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to get angry. No, but I but mean, you're on the, you're on right. the plus it's, side. Maybe there's it's a plus like side. Wait, there's some a plus sort side. of cooldown cool so yeah. the Thargoids can't take it back right away or something, something like that. Okay. Kind of locks well, it down. Okay, I have whatever. no idea. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean that would stand to reason, I guess. But when, it's just funny when, that you're on the, you know on they the plus describe the the stuff. They describe all these. Oh, he can't. He can't hear me, can he? I can hear you now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, it's just that you described all these phases. Right. Yeah. And yeah. One of them is just nothing. One of them it's is just, just not there. The so it's like they yeah. could have just left that off. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's there are eight Thargoid maelstroms. Like I said, AXI has already completely contained Tyrannus, and in probably two more cycles, there's an outside shot of one more. But it's probably going to take two more cycles. We'll have Oya contained. You know, at which point it. You know, every week we'll be dealing with the new alert systems, but we'll be stopping them from spreading. So that's two out of eight. That's 25% containment mm -hmm. that we're looking at. And then we're going to be able, you know, once we get Oya contained, we'll shift to focusing on um, mm -hmm. another maelstrom to try to get it contained too. So I, I feel a lot better about where we are than I did a couple of weeks ago. Are we still we're, losing? Oh, yeah, we're still losing systems okay. because... There's still all of those invasions that were on like five week timers when this started, and a lot yeah. of those are just now come and do. You know, the, uh, the Oya, which is the one obviously that I'm following the closest. There are six systems that are going to be in their final week, uh, starting Thursday, and there's no way right, we're going so to. So what's going to happen when that when that ticks off? Well, we'll well, there's no way we're going to be able to save all six of them, and. One of the things we learned this week, fighting in Liu Hang, which was on its last week of time, Wang, Wang, <laughs> was that when when they get down to that last week, all of the ports and stuff are taken, and like Liu Hang, unfortunately, had no AXCZs, so we were just you know hanging out around ports, hoping for thar Thargoids to spawn and running a lot of rescue missions, and it's kind of tough to pull them back from that brink. And like I said, you know, with thir when Thursday rolls around and the new cycle starts, we'll have six systems that are in their final week. We may decide not to even try to save any of those, to just let them and let go. them fall into control. Yeah, let them go, and then take the ones that are two and three weeks out, where we still have plenty of resources <laughs> to fight with, and just try to deal with them. But like we're still talking about that. That decision hadn't been made yet. But we and may have... we may have to sacrifice some of them just to to contain it. Have we won any uh, the green any of the green control systems back yet? No, no. We no. we so that's we what lack the ability. About AXI. Yeah, they because okay. they finished containing Tyrannus last cycle, so their target for this cycle was to try to take back uh, one of the controlled systems, and I forget which one they chose, but they they pounded on it for three days and made like twelve percent progress. Mm. Wow. It was mm. brutal. Okay. Thousands so. of Thargoids killed, and they, they just couldn't make any progress. And, of course, the problem with a controlled system is there's no ports. You can't move in fleet carriers. The difficulty and, is extremely high. The Thargoids yeah. are very aggressive there. The, they're hyper-aggressive. Bigger Thargoids spawn, and there is no safe space anywhere you, you're going to be interdicted, yep. or if you <clears> drop <throat> into regular space, they're going to spawn on top of you. Yep. Yeah, you have to high wake to get to safety, and even then, you're going to be you have a high chance to get hyperdicted on your path. So if you're yeah. weak and trying to get out for repairs, it's risky. Yeah. So uh, that we like I said, we we lack the ability to take back controlled systems now. So we're fighting for containment. I really appreciate the uh, the war updates like this because like I've just been so busy the last couple of weeks with the holidays. Like I I completely lost whatever was going on with the war. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I went plant gunning. I'm a few days behind. <laughs> <laughs> I I have I I have to admit I'm I've um my excitement waned a little bit with the mission board failing. Like yeah, yeah. I can I can fight thargoids all day. I can fight thargoids with the best of them. But I I don't, I don't always want to do that. And it, it there are times when I want to sit down and you know I like having these missions with with uh, high grade material rewards mm -hmm. and. Sometimes just doing that, uh, you know, it, it's been a long time since I could reliably turn on my favorite game and watch some YouTube and, and run missions and stuff and have fun in that way. You know, a lot of people like 
like doing that. I haven't been doing that because for months now I've just been doing combat. And now to have these options, I was all like, yeah, this is great. And then it just takes a couple of times of the mission boards failing. And it's like, well, I guess I have to log back in in a couple of hours and try to save these missions before I get kind of a, eh, I'll just do something else. I don't care. Well, there's I'll weird play a stuff with game. this game. Like, yeah. I, I got a CQC match the other night again randomly and had that weird, uh, oh, it seems like a developer. Map? Yeah, this weird developer's test map, it seems, where it's kind of lower resolution textures on the map and you can fly through about 75% of the walls. You can just fly right through this structure, but then <laughs> you'll run into an actual wall in the middle of it. So, <laughs> do you tell? <laughs> it's just, it's just, I was trying to figure out the boundaries of it when I was in there the other day. I feel there was like one other player in there who kept killing me because I was trying to figure out what this base actually was while I was flying around. I actually pulled up OBS to record as I was flying around because I just, I, I wanted it for posterity's sake. But mm -hmm. it's just, it's just, freaking bizarre where did this come from i've played thousands of cqc matches and this never existed now i've seen it twice in like the seven matches i've had in the last three weeks it's just bizarre it sounds new doesn't it where, yeah it sounds like where update does this 14 come from? shenanigans yeah i mean well that's just it are they were they planning to put in a new map and then just decided not to do it but somehow it was still in the game when they <laughs> updated i mean how does that happen i don't I don't understand. <laughs> is it going to be patched out in January? <laughs> I don't know. Or is it going to be finished in January? I, I, I don't know. How much, how, how cool is it and how much are people enjoying it? Because if, if people are liking it and want, exactly. to, want more time with it, it'll be patched tomorrow. I don't, how can people be enjoying it? It's like half just not there. It's lower resolution and it's, it's really just kind of dumb. It's just, you know, it elevates like this one big base like in the middle yeah. that you're flying around. But there's kind of asteroids to both sides. This is like the size of the Elevate base, but it's all square and rectangular in shape instead. And there's like nothing that you fly into or it, it's really, really dumb. I don't know. I, I just don't know what it is. And like around it, there's like nothing really to do. So it's That's so weird. How does that happen? Right? Like it's so game development is so bizarre. Yeah, like I said, how does that happen? And you how hadn't experienced it at all, and now, in all these years, and now you've experienced it, like, twice. Yeah, in my, I don't know, whatever, 4,000 matches to get to Elite, yeah. I had never seen this. Now I've seen it twice in the last three weeks. So it's not like yeah. it's something that was there just rare, unless it was just, I've just gotten super stupid <laughs> lucky at finding it, you know, recently. FDev yeah. is how that happens. Mm -hmm. FDev, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. If anybody knows anything about it, come tell me on the Discord if you've played on that map. I had somebody else said that they had seen it, and I'm like, really? That's crazy. And then, then now that I've seen it twice, you know, I don't. Maybe if I actually got five matches in a row, it would rotate to that again. You know, maybe it's in the mix. I have no idea. It's just, I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. know how that happens. Mm -hmm. It is just, it boggles my brain. Glitch in the matrix. Yep. Yep. Um, you know, before we move on from this, since, since we were talking about Thargoid crap and we're probably not, you know, there's nothing else to, to bring up later in the show about this. Uh, I know that Nurgle was pretty distracted last week when, and I was expecting a little more heat <laughs> from him about, um, the things that were going on, but I don't know if you, you know, we don't need to, to throw shade or anything like that, but I feel like it deserves a little bit of explanation what, you're talking about when you say like you know the decision about which target we're focusing on has been made and then when this when we do this that decision hasn't been made yet and stuff like that because there were like there are these kind of large pillars of the community in AXI and um, Op Operation Ida and the EVAC people that I always forget the acronym for <laughs> I'm sorry P -P -D -E -S. Um, PDES um, for a while, we were sharing their um, sort of dispatch in Discord. I was following their announcements channels for targets. Um, but after a while, we decided not to do that um, because they were focusing on this thing from the perspective of 
they don't have a location in space. Like these are galaxy wide organizations. And that doesn't really help us as the loose screws group because we actually are closer to one of these and kind of do need to take care of our own section of space. Then there's this other group the, that popped up, the uh, Human Defense the Council. Defense Council of Humanity, DCOH. The DCOH. And they screwed okay. up. They should have went D. They should have went Defense of Humanity Council because then they could have been yeah. the Do Council. Do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so yeah. close. It's so close. Um, we, uh, some people came in um, kind of talking about that and, and wanting us to, to join. And we kind of said, okay, I mean, you know, by all means, do your thing. And behind the scenes, we were talking and kind of what we talked about did end up coming to pass. Is, is that right, Nurgle? Do you want to speak pretty, to this at all? Pretty, pretty close. Um, the, the way Defense Council, Council of Humanity kind of organized itself, um, it, they're organized around the different maelstroms. And so, which is appropriate, which we which like. Is, Right, which is appropriate. So, so you, the idea here is to form a coalition of the willing you know, in your neighborhood and go fight the maelstroms, which is kind of what we have done. And when I start talking about target selection and we, it's all about DCOH yeah. and the OYA defense group. And this is because like, as just a faction, and we're a somewhat large faction, actually, but we alone cannot make enough of a dent in these systems. Right. We tried. Um, yeah, we just don't, we don't have the firepower. And, and again, it would take several hundred commanders to do one of these. So I went and joined DCOH, got involved in the OYA defense group. And so there's a, a fair number of people in there. Then we hash, you know, throw ideas around and come up with kind of, you know, the direction that we're going to send everybody. And, you know, this, uh, the the first part of this cycle in Liu Hang, Liu Huang, you know, it's our guys were fighting in there. People, the Burr Pit had their folks in there. The Fatherhood had their folks in there. Um, PDES came in, and after, especially when they realized with AXI there was going to be no rescues in the system they were in, PDES came in and hit it pretty hard. Uh, Ida has been moving stuff. So we've been able to get some systems moved, and again, you know, we're now starting the conversation in that group about you know, what we're going to do in the beginning of the next cycle uh, and what systems we're probably going to have to just let go uh, because they're going to be too difficult to save. And there are, you know, in any large group of individuals, um, there are going to be some who disagree with the the path we have chosen, uh, and you know, we sometimes they have a point, and you know, we we may have made a bad decision, and sometimes they just want to go off and save some system that's unsavable. You know, there was one guy this week that was going off about why we didn't go decide to pick his pet system, which happened to be not only in another maelstrom but still have three weeks left on the invasion timer, like, well, because that's. That's not why we're here. That's not. Yeah. That's not in our zone. Right. Yeah. I mean, the, the specific point is to localize yeah. in space. Right. Well, but you know, he after he got to talking, it's with you know their space is just not organized, and somebody actually came in. I uh, forget what faction they were, but actually mentioned that they they don't have any connection to the Oya cluster, and they're far enough away that none of them matter. But they chose to fight here because we seem to be organized and making progress, and they figured this is where they could help. And we appreciate that. And I, I look forward to the point, like I said, in the future where we have Oya contained and we're just dealing with alerts and we can tell some of those commanders, no, go help somewhere else. Yeah, or we can go. I mean, and, right, yeah. if we don't need the force here. Th at that point, we're happy to spread out and help. And, you know, people from the other side of the bubble that aren't direct as directly impacted right now choose, you know, Choose, add your force where it seems to be needed sort right. of thing. But for the people that are part of this group, and you're talking about the OYA-specific section of this discussion, to say, no, we should all drop what we're doing and go over to a different maelstrom. Yeah, that's... You know, if it was... No, go go talk to the people from that area. <laughs> Rally you know, them. This is what it, you need. Because you need it, a consistent force. They're right. not going to get anywhere in that area by peeling a few of our players groups off for a week 
because it's just going to fall again next week, right? Right, right. You have to rally the people in your local area or it's not permanent. It's not sustainable. And then, of course, you know, we get a lot of flack about, you know, posting priorities. Well, who are you to make this decision? Well, you know, you're, you're welcome to participate in this decision in this other thread because <laughs> this is yeah. very much a group effort. You know, I, I'm just the one that got tasked with writing the actual post and putting it up. No one is deciding this for you. If you want to have your say, come and have your say. But, but don't come in four days into the cycle and bitch about a decision that was made a week ago because that ship has sailed. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're not going to yeah. discuss it. But it's uh, it's been fun. It's it's been a lot of herding cats. Like I said, I, I mm-hmm. look forward. Mm-hmm. I look forward to the day that we have Oya contained, and I cannot worry about that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, the All things right. that we know Herbal's good at in herding cats is definitely one of them. We get stories about him doing that all the time. Yeah, you would That's think I would find government a work. To, yeah, you would think I would find a way to relax that did not involve herding cats. But apparently I can't. <laughs> you did kind of put yourself right in this thing, I, didn't you? I, I did. I just, I kind of jumped right into it, but oh well. <laughs> um, all right. Well, yeah, so I wanted to give you that opportunity because I, I feel, I've been, you know, it, discussing this a little bit with you. I'm not really participating in that particular group, um, but just uh, felt like that, that lament should go chick. a little bit public. Didn't Thank let you. him I, talk about it last week. I, I needed to vent. No, he would, there were some technical problems last week that were causing some distractions. Oh, it's not um, my fault. <laughs> yeah, it's not no, your fault. I don't think it was your fault. You guys all handled that really well, actually. And um, even though it came out really weird in reviewing what was going on with it, I think the machine handled Nurgle's disconnects in just about the best way it could because it, it, it unfortunately it kept adding time in because it had to realign you all. So it would like fit in the stuff you couldn't hear that he had been saying, and then there would be this gap, right? Because then oh. there was like, we're realigning the time with all the... Oh, it's sort yeah. of weird audio crap was going on, but eventually the episode came out and we pretty much heard everything we were supposed to hear, and eh, sometimes that's the best you can do, you know? Uh, yeah. yeah. Just keep pushing forward. Yeah. Right, right. Um, okay, so thanks. Let's go on. We've got a few seconds. Now we've got an exploration report, and then we've got the uh, the Galnet recap with uh, Blame the Bard. So let's start off with the exploration report. Here we go. From uh, Grover Kiwi, of course. Space. It's bigger than Texas, but not as big as your mama. And this is the exploration report. 3308 is coming to an end. But the war with the Far Gods continues with little respite. But as we begin to organize better and understand the tactics need to beat this initial threat, it may be a good time to head out of the bubble just for a little bit of exploring. In this episode, we look at our favorite way just to do some quick exploring while still staying close to the bubble and the war effort. There are plenty of places you can visit in just a day or two. One way to help choose a destination is just look up. Go outside at night, look at the stars in the sky, pick one, find its name using an app like Sky Maps, and then jump in your ship and head to it. Or if you want, you can choose something with a bit more recognition, like Betelgeuse or the Pleiades. Betelgeuse is only 500 light years from Sol, and a ship with a modest 20 light year range can reach it in about 30 jumps. The Pleiades is even closer. To help find undiscovered systems, you can fly up or down on the galactic plane for a few hundred light years before plotting your course, rather than heading directly to the destination. Now it's exploration news. Vista Genomics has started a new round of fundraising to pay for all the overnight billionaires they have created. A number of well-known explorers have managed to lend their voices to a really terrible song for a really great charity. And one of Earth's most well-known explorers over the millennia, Santa Claus, seems to have gone missing after delivering most of his presents. He was last seen in the vicinity of Etienne Dorn's home system. Hopes are that he will be found soon, and not in an escape pod. In upcoming explorations, On the 7th of January 3309, the exploration Celebration of Early Astronomy 5 will be leaving on their two-month exploration. 
starting in the Keltum system, the exploration honours Sir Patrick Cadwell Moore and the Cadwell catalogue he created. The links to take part in this exploration, as well as the links to that terrible song and how you can donate to the charity, are available in the show notes. This has been the Exploration Report, coming to you live from the future. Future, 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 somewhere. Who am I? <laughs> Good stuff, right, Grover. Great, great job, great job. Not big, as big as Yo Mama. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Biggest thing I took from that report is that Yo Mama jokes still exist in the future. Makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe he delivered that Yo Mama joke as serious as a heart attack. That was my favorite part. <laughs> it's good stuff. I'm really glad he's he's doing that for us, added that segment to the show. It's good stuff. Really? Yeah, me too. Yeah, I really enjoy that. It's a it's a segment of the the game right now that most of us have kind of not saying abandoned, just have stepped away from a little bit. Well, he did he start doing this right as they boosted the pay on exobio too so maybe maybe timely <laughs> there is maybe that. Timely. there is that yeah all right so we've got to blame the bard segment and um this does include copyrighted music but i checked beforehand and i believe that this will not get us pulled down it will just and we don't monetize the videos anyway so there's a copyright claim that'll go on this video but it will just mean that we can't make money off of it. So nothing yeah. changes. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you, know, you know what I say? You don't like it? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go for Blame the Bard. Out of the Bard, the Tin Hattie on the Express! <laughs> Welcome aboard the Tenhadium Express. I'm currently doing my inspection of the repairs, overseeing the final touches, and reviewing the report of what's been fixed. Which means I have good news. I can finally get those services for you. <laughs> Wait. The doorways in some of the areas are much shorter now. There's no way we ran out of materials. And why are they painted red and green? That's gonna leave a mark. Good thing I'm short or this would be an issue. Wait, who were they? Elves? Who hired elves to do the repairs? And why did they look so sad? Oh, toys. Right, they were supposed to be making toys. Well, I can't change that now. Although, I think I have something to cheer everyone up. Charles, we're starting early. Commence Operation Celebration Surprise. Oh, shit. There's a couple news stories to talk about. Uh, sure. Hold on a second. Hang on. Gotta move quick. The stuff's fast acting. Good thing there's only two stories. December 19th, Galnet publishes a story titled The Super Cruise Factor, detailing how Thargoids can now be found in Super Cruise. And December 20th, Emperor Orissa makes a speech regarding the Empire's resolve facing the Thargoid menace. That's all for this week's news. Have fun out there. All right, everyone, take a deep breath. It's minty flavored. Let the party begin.
else in the bar to compose all that himself. <laughs> Bitchin'. Just when I thought the music was about to be over, it kept going. And going. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sh- quite sure what's wrong with Bard, but I hope there's never a cure found. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Uh, what's the next, guys? Is well, it is it time to talk nonsense? There's actually a little bit of in-game <laughs> news that he... Oh. That didn't get an end article. We finished up two of those eight-week CGs getting fixed enhanced AX missile racks and gimbaled AX multi-cannons. Which, oh, tell me about gimbaled multi-cannons. They're new. There are no, there have not ever been gimbaled multi-cannons in the galaxy. Any, ever, any other time you've ever heard of them has been a hallucination. This is the first time we've ever had gimbaled multi-cannons. And there yeah. have never been, nor will there ever be, gimbaled missile racks. Let's get that out there. <laughs> no, but seriously. There was some confusion about that. Yeah, uh, well, the, <gasps> didn't the news story say missile racks when it was yeah, actually it for multi-cannons? Yeah. 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 But uh, those should be available now or at the weekly tick on Thursday. And I imagine when, you know, all the folks get back into the office at Frontier, we're going to get something to tie all these really interstellar initiatives together. There's the, So the challenge else. with using the gimbal will be getting the full Xeno scan, getting close enough for long enough. With Ooh, these things always being aggro, which is hard enough in a fucking Mamba, let alone in slower ship. I can't imagine a chieftain's going to be able to get Cause, a scan because you got to do the full when they're already not, not when off. they're pretty aggressive. Yeah, you got to do the full scan to target the hearts. Yeah. Right. So what I normally wind up doing is I come in from the back and just jam my Mamba in its asshole, and then just keep boosting <laughs> so I stay in the scan range. <laughs> you do yeah. what? So you, why are you considering these to be? Uh, Effective for interceptors, then. Like, <clears throat> I, I use I use the fixed ones against the cyclops, and mm-hmm. was successful. So definitely, like in a group, they can, you can contribute in a real way. Uh, they do. Yeah. They work. Yeah, I've I had good luck with them. Uh, the only thing that really sucks though is for uh, like my Diamondback Scout. I used the two size two fixed uh, multi cannons. But for my size ones, I couldn't do much. So I was like, oh, I'll throw my advanced missile racks on there. Send some AX fucking ammo because it was supposed to be fixed at some point. Still not fixed. Still doesn't work. Ugh. So. Wait, if what do you mean it the doesn't advanced work? Missile racks, it, apply, it says applies kinetic damage instead of AX damage. And it just straight up does no damage to interceptor hulls. Oh, but I've seen like recent videos of people. Te- well, it was it was somebody who was testing uh, different ships where they would launch themselves into a fighter and then see how their pilot would do with AX, um, uh, sorry, with advanced was, missiles. Really? Because I yeah. tried them last week and the flavor text still says applies kinetic damage and they were doing absolutely zero damage to the, uh, the huh. Cyclops that I was shooting. No, at. this, and I this was, guy had, had like a, a, a Crusader... They have to do a weird bounce, right? Because he has to go into the fighter, give the order, then he has to go back into the ship and then back into the fighter before the the NPC will actually engage the Thargoid. But at that point, yeah, yeah I saw him shoot down a basilisk with um with advanced missile racks. Oh, fully loaded with advanced missile racks. Yes, they fully load yeah. every hard point with advanced missile racks and just watch him lay waste to a basilisk. He basically just it, tanks the thing and and just takes it to task. It it didn't work for me. It did no damage. Huh. Wow. So. I wasn't aware of that. And man, that's a lot of mats. I like how we're just gonna Yeah. We're just gonna walk past what Dub said. Like I get I get all the all the <laughs> all the tags and stuff about wanting to do stuff to Thargoids, but Dub's literally just said he wants to shove his mamba in its asshole. <laughs> man, gonna, we're just gonna we'll walk right past that one, huh guys? Just because it turned you on doesn't mean it's wrong. Just saying. I mean, I'll give you that. That's fine. Of, <laughs> but still. Of those of us in this recording, who has asked FDev about Thargoid romance? 
And it's just going to be the one. The one. Uh, just the Let's one. See. Yeah. And yeah. you I wonder mean, just, why we just, don't pick on anybody else. I was, I was just pointed out. As, oh, as, as I, was, I was just pointed out. But that's, I think, if Dubs went on there and said, when can I shove my Mamba in a Thargoid's asshole, it would probably get shut here's, down by mods. <laughs> just, yeah. Yeah, just here, guessing. Here's the difference. You asked about romance. What I'm doing to them <laughs> is no, it is not consensual and it is not romantic. <laughs> He, oh, he, he coats the tip of his mamba in the same material <laughs> substance that the AX multi cannon rounds are coated in. It's, so it's actually AX, it's AX damage. <laughs> and, and, we, <laughs> and, and, we, fair. Yeah. and we were when, worried about being demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> when, to be fair, when, it's going to be so much worse. My, <laughs> when Arf answered my question about Thargoid romances, he did say that um, Thargoids can't give consent, which I find yeah. hard to believe. Because they can invade uh, the bubble. I mean, even Just, if they could give consent, I'm not asking for it. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, We're trying desperately <laughs> to, to pull him out of this. All right, let's move on. <laughs> you you yeah. started it, Teflon. <laughs> Just couldn't oh let it go. God. Could not. Um, yeah, okay. So there's nothing new in, in bugs. There's nothing new in... Um, we already talked about Thargoid War stuff. There's not really any dev news. Obviously, everything was off. Uh, the only other thing I had written down, we already talked about, about um, Operation Ida data showing that post-Thargoid recovery has absolutely nothing to do with commander input. Um, so that's it. We've just got to... We, now we, all that's left is to talk about the Loose Screws podcast year in review. Sweet. Sweet. Hey, everybody. Great job. Let's do a little bit of back, backpacking. Backpack. Oh, my God. Back padding, padding our backs. This is what I'm trying back to say. Back padding, you guys, got it. Padding each I, other. On, let's s- pat ourselves on my the vision, back. My vision, my vision is starting to halo a little bit. Is, is everybody still there? You better <laughs> not pat my back without my consent. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Why do I smell <laughs> copper? <laughs> I can taste the the sounds. I don't know what to do. Oh God! Oh, hold on. So Are much. you guys recording this from uh, Bard's fleet carrier? Possibly. <laughs> Play the music. <laughs> it, it may be the fumes, yes. Um anyway, well so what's up? I have got I've got uh our wrapped for podcasters from the likes of Spotify who technically own our host. Um do that with a bunch of stats. Yeah, do do those stats because then I can talk about We'll know how many people were listening to what we yeah. were doing, and I'll tell. I'll, I'll go over how many minutes we did this year. Though that's probably going to pop up there, but who probably was will. on the show the most and all that stuff? I'll we'll cover a few of those right. little tidbits. All right. So here's here's what I got. This is, there's a lot of graphical nonsense going on with this business, but I'll just try to click through here. So in 2022, people loved your podcast. Okay, that was a stupid page. Uh, let's see what else you got for me. More pretty pictures. I should put this on the video here. This is what I'm watching. You created 2,981 minutes of new content, which is 96% of other creators in the leisure category. I'm sorry. Wait, I just learned we're in the leisure category. <laughs> the leisure category. Leisure suit. <laughs> I feel like we need to change the intro then to be like, welcome to the Loose Cruise podcast in the midnight hour. Get comfortable. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, what's the next page? Onward. You can't hear us, but we're clapping right now. This is, this is irritating me. I have to click like four things to get to the next. Um, okay, it's fine. This is fine. This is fine. It's like the text on One episode Spotify really grabbed review. listeners' attention. Can you guess the number one? Oh, this is a fun game. So from March 11th, episode 124, so you want to build a PC, or episode 117, Volt, this is your fault, or episode 135, I'm going to get Rammy. Which one do you think was the was the number one? Build a PC. Build a PC. Those are always yeah, popular. Yeah. yeah. I clicked build a PC. Survey says... We got it. That was it. Yeah, Woo-hoo. people love for some reason when we talk about hardware and stuff. <laughs> they do six hundred and thirty-four percent more streams than your average episode. Maybe we should become a, a oh PC, my god a PC wow. hardware podcast for you. This is apparently what we should be talking about. Like, yeah, we just be four, we just be the us. loose screws tech. Imagine four how many done this bastards don't even know about us that just found it on the title alone and were like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're right. <laughs> All right, we're. 
to talk about uh, podcasting around the world, I think now. Uh, uh, what do we got? Stars. You guys are going to have to watch this later on YouTube to see what I was watching. All right. We were heard in 26 countries. The top five are the United States, the yeah. UK, Canada, Australia, Germany. I wonder if oh, sorry, Grover, Grover is counted in Australia and not where he lives. No, no, he's definitely counted. Germans love David Hasselhoff. <laughs> um, and track. Something magical happened. This is a weird stat. Something magical happened between January 30 and February 5. That's definitely just one episode. Yeah. You had 39% more listeners compared to your average week. That's definitely just one episode. Why are they singling this out? What did that we do? Probably did we do you want to build a PC Spotify. episode. Why didn't you tell me the, uh, like, okay. What percent of your huh. listeners follow the podcast? Is it 42%, 14 or 28? It, I think it's definitely 40. 42. It has right? to be 42. It has, it has to, be. to be. All right. So this is a fun little quiz thing. They didn't do this last year. All right. And the answer is correct. You're in the top 10% of most followed podcasts. Whoa. By well, percentage. A, it's misleading. That's a stat caused by the fact that there are like a million podcasts that only have three episodes yeah. and then they quit. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, next page. What are, what are loose screws, a very funny bunch of commanders, except it's cut off with an ellipsis, Listeners like exactly. Okay. So stats about our oh, listeners. Here I, they come. I can answer that. <laughs> because, because. Cal- <clears throat> Wait, it says calculating listeners' personality. Live live oh, home. God. I know. I can answer that. Winter Mute explained it to me this week. We're a bunch of redneck hillbilly Philistines from the States. <laughs> Those are big words. So it, Spotify says our listeners' podcast personality is the enthusiast your listeners are super fans when their favorite podcast releases a new episode they're among the first to know going above and beyond to show their support all right okay. so they must Why jump on the leisure quickly. category love you guys <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> we need to change our category why aren't we in gaming is there not a gaming category there should be i gotta look at that now 71 percent of your listeners <laughs> discovered us in 2022 wow really wow that sounds Wrong. Not true. Yeah. What was that yeah. percentage? Seventy-one <laughs> yeah. percent of our listeners are new this year. That was that. Possible? Does that mean we lost a lot that of listeners? That means we lost a lot. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't think our li- okay episode one. Ten percent of people start with this episode, so we're far away from episode one. Far enough away that people don't always start with it. Yeah. Only ten percent of people start with episode one. That makes sense. I mean, we're years on. Yeah. Right? We're uh. first episode was. August 23rd, 2019. So, yeah. Yeah. That was a while ago. Uh, 39 video oh, episodes on. this year. Hold they on. were the top five most viewed. Top 5% most viewed. Okay. Uh, I just started putting things on video mode because they enable the, the day they allowed us to upload in video form, I started putting it there. So, the, the hot <laughs> episode we had at the end of January slash beginning of February. Yeah. We had a CQC discussion. Oh, Ooh. interesting. Interesting. All right, we'll put that on the list. I mean, that sounds hot right, to me. So <laughs> <laughs> the ratings are in. Uh, we're ahead. Okay, great. Yeah. Listeners scored your podcast 4.8. I assume that's out of 10. Uh, no, no, it's out of five. <laughs> it's out of 100. <laughs> we're a five star. 100. <laughs> five star. On a scale of a thousand. Right? Out of 100. Have you been working out? It's asking me, have I been working out? That seems kind I'm just of going to click through. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't seem on topic. Eighteen. Your podcast saw gains this year. Eighteen percent more followers. Wow, good job. They said seventy-one percent of people uh, discovered us this year. That so these make, aren't adding up. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Doesn't this is this well, is well as um, long as we gained more than we lost. I'm starting to yeah. lose faith in this survey system. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could no Chig's right. Like you could have a situation where you know you you some listeners stop listening. So 71% started this year, but our growth overall is still only 18%. I mean, I guess. They just don't explain it very well. Um, well, anyway. 71% Clicking growth on. over like four people is what? Carry the one to five. Well, no, two. 71% wasn't our growth. That was just how many listeners started listening this year. Oh. 18% was growth. Oh, 18%. So we are okay. a top 10 podcast Woo-hoo! for 274 fans. So 274 fans put us in their top 10. Nice. Okay. Top 5% in 193 fans lists. And the number one 
podcast for 50 fans. Okay. Well, now. They're their number one podcast? Apparently. Damn. That's all okay. the other. According to Spotify. Yeah, that's all the other Guys, redneck hillbilly Philistines. Nah, you need to get out more is all I got to say. <laughs> Touch grass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Scold them. Yeah. Scold them. <laughs> you dumb it's bastards. Good. <laughs> well, it's good. It's good to show contempt for our audience. That, that kind of is our thing. <laughs> all right. It says it says we made something special for you. This is just going to be an ad for Spotify, right? Probably. In the form of us sharing our not- Oh well, yeah, it's like a graphic about how much we grew and stuff and I can pick it in Thanks colors. to be Spotify. happy about this. Wasn't a dick pic. Just <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. All right. Great job, Spotify, I guess. Hey, we owe it all to you. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's cool. Some of that's cool to know. Some of it makes no sense, but that's fine. Yeah. Good job, Spotify. <laughs> you were adequate at that job. <laughs> <laughs> what a, I will, so say, I will keeps, say to the listeners, yeah. I, do, I, do, I do love our listeners. Uh, I don't care if people give me a hard time. Uh, oh, I didn't oh, want really that to come st- off like... <laughs> I didn't, yeah, You're really, I didn't really out there, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I did, after I was like, touch grass, I was like, that sounded meaner than I meant it to. <laughs> if they don't like it, you so, know. Um, yeah. yeah. Then get lost. Yeah, that's that's the phrase. So That's the so phrase. It, it, Trax was saying, I, 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 I'm a nerd, and I do spreadsheets and stuff, and I tend to break down the stats on our show a little bit more all the time. Like, when I have, like, half an hour and I'm sitting around doing nothing, I'll just start, like, breaking out stats from the spreadsheet that I've made on this show. And I, I keep it up to date. Like to date, we have, this show has recorded 17,151 minutes. It's a lot wow. of fucking minutes a show. And since it was the show almost 3,000 this year. Trans- Translate was, that into it, days. It actually was 3662 this year at minutes of show. Well, why does Spotify have a different number then? Don't it know. has a higher number, doesn't it? No, we have a it higher was 39, number. I thought. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I showed 36. Or no, 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 wait, wait, no. I, it said it said almost 3,000. It was a little less Hold than 3,000. Let, let me just make sure that I have this right. I'm going to do the spreadsheet again just to be sure. Yeah, 3662 I show, but just by taking the okay. number of minutes of the show of each episode on my podcast app, that's where I get. Well, actually, I update it after you upload it the next day. So that's the minutes mm-hmm. I take is from the YouTube video you post. And it's 3662 is what we had. So I don't know if there's some that didn't get uploaded to Spotify for some reason. Mm, I don't think so. Cause even the one we, the one live stream we did, I took the content of it and put it on YouTube. Although did I cut some of it out? I don't think so. Uh, you didn't cut out 600 minutes, but yeah, we had 3,662, <laughs> 3,662 last year, uh, counting tonight. And that doesn't include the minutes of tonight show obviously because we don't know how long sure. it's gonna be <laughs> well, not, right. and actually actually maybe this is something to do with it. they showed me this like it's a wrap thing like near nearer the beginning of december i've been sitting on it for a while okay so maybe so i wonder yeah. if that yeah. changes things maybe that's, that's the possible anyway go on but uh this year we did exact counting tonight exactly 52 episodes were published one one was the famous uh <laughs> just 45 minutes of silence episode Right, that was awesome. <laughs> that was but, awesome. But we did put out 52 episodes this year, so we average one a week. Uh, that's really good. And last year we yeah. only had 46, and we kind of so made that means a we w- we missed some weeks because we had we had two bonuses, like including the 45 yes. minutes of silence one, and the other one we did right after update 14. Oh, hold on, I'm trying to think over the years. So we should have had 51 weeks, not including today. Yes, and. Over time, like our most missed uh, show over the course of the show was like Thanksgiving, and then uh-huh. just some random episodes here, you know, over time. Um, but that we used to record on Thursday, so missing Thanksgiving made sense. Yeah. Um, but we did miss just a couple weeks, you know, actual weeks this year compared to last year. We only had forty six episodes. We missed a good number of weeks last year. And we kind of mm. made the decision so to make sure. we stepped it up. Yes, we did. We made sure, we made a, val- uh, a concerted effort, vocabulary, a concerted effort to, <laughs> um, 
you know, try to get an episode out every week because it, it is a bummer. If you listen to something and enjoy listening to it, if they start missing weeks on you, it's kind of douchey. So we, mm-hmm. we try not to be douchey, even though, you know, we tell you to fuck off. We, we still want to be nice. Cause yeah, we, but we draw the line on not telling you to fuck off. Exactly. <laughs> and that's because we, we love our listeners who we tell to fuck off and suggest they go touch grass. We love them. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So now here, 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 here's some random stats. Uh, do you want to go all time or do you want to go this year first on, on just some random? I think this year, can yeah. you, if there's a, if there's, if you have them, do you, can you do like a this year and then compare to all time for each thing? Yeah. Well, I think what, that's how yeah. I would all do. I've yeah, got right now is uh, how many episodes we've all appeared on is, is the set I'm going to throw out here right now is some stuff. And, okay. and we could do this kind of quiz style, like, all time, who's been on more episodes? Uh, Ty, Chig, or Trax? Trax. Trax. Chig. Still, still me. <clears throat> it is a dead tie. Me and Trax have both been on 114 oh, episodes. Last week. It's the moment. Last week, I caught you. <laughs> <laughs> so now, outside of those three, Ty is, or outside of those three, we get into who's been on there most. Is it Hate, Data, Nurgle, or Dubs? Ooh. Didn't we do this like three weeks ago? It's totally I, me. I it's think hate. it's Hate, yeah. It's Hate. Okay, oh. by a very slim margin, 80 he has been on. Compared to me and Trax with 114, Ty with 98, Hate is at 80. Well, who's more Data or Nurgle? Me. Mm. Data Nurgle. 78, Nurgle 75, Dubs is 73. Oh wow. Mm. Those are pretty close. Well let's Check go let's go this year who's been on the most episodes. This is pretty easy actually. It, it's this year it's Chick. Yeah, I, I did forty six this year. Now here's where it gets interesting. Who is second most episodes this year? I don't think it's me. Nurgle. me. Nurgle. I think I think I miss more than other people. Nurgle have... at thirty eight. Wow, Ooh. I would not have guessed that. I would not have well, guessed because I'm in the twenties. Dubs, Dubs did, sure. or uh, Data did 34. Now, here's an interesting one. We've got a tie mm. next between Trax and Teflon at 33 episodes. Oh, I thought I'd be in oh. the 20s. Yeah, no. Mm. Uh, yeah, Teflon did as many episodes as Trax in 2022. I'm All trying right. to, I'm tr- I try to make it as much every week. Yeah, yeah, you did pretty good compared to that fucking slacker Dubs with 25. I did uh, move. I, I did move. Guess I'm just halfway not around. across the country. Dubs had a lot of stuff going on this year. Uh, as did I, you. You you only you did 27 this year, uh, and <clears throat> you you had a bunch of uh, career stuff and family stuff and everything else. So the fact you still made it almost half the episodes this year is is well, actually, you made over half. Yeah, Dubs almost yeah. made D- half. D- Dubs is here by proxy when I have I'm here and vice versa. <laughs> we speak for each other. <laughs> if either one is here, you have to count both. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He, he, okay. Here's here's a random, uh, random stat I looked at just just because I was curious. Have there been more episodes of just Ty and? Well, there there could be other people on the show, but where Ty and Chig were both on the show with no tracks, Ty and Tracks with no Chig, or Ty Tracks and Chig all on the episode together. But which which do you think? was the more <laughs> I think prevalent. all together is oh. is the most. I don't know. I my brain so can't too. handle this level of calculus. <laughs> too many options. <laughs> I'm just going to say, the one that you said you thought was the most was the least. There were only... Th- <laughs> oh. Do you realize I said, what, there's been 184 episodes of the show? There have only been 31 episodes where me, you, and Ty were on there together. Oh, okay. Does that surprise you a little bit? You, you yeah, and that's not how yeah, I remember it. Does. it. You know, but it's been a long time. Yeah, you and Ty did 47 without when I wasn't there. And uh, Ty and me and Ty without you did 37. But me and you have done 87. Wow. Where me and you have been on here without Ty, which is, yeah. I suppose, I suppose that makes it. Th- I think I was thinking of this more historically and not really considering over the past, you know, year since I, since Ty wasn't no, around. No, that so was much, yeah. the history of the show I was going over. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I, I I think in 
I don't think I, I, I understand how I was thinking wrong. Is okay. What I'm yeah. Well, that's, that's cause we listen uh, to me. It always seems like Ty was like, well, he, you know, obviously he was the creator of the show, but he was the guy who was on every episode, you know, and everything else. Yeah. And he still holds the record for most episodes in one year. In 2020, he was on 53 episodes. Not Nobody's touched that many appearances. <laughs> and I'm guessing that's why he burned out and dropped down to 15 the year after that and 12 last year. Sure. So. Sure. Can only More episodes than there were weeks. Exactly. Yeah, you can only, you can only uh, yeah, and putting up with the number of personalities that he went through yeah. that year and just the chaos in the world during 2020, it was it was probably a good escape, but I could see why it's like, yeah, I'm done with this shit. But I mean, <laughs> he, he stuck around. But I don't know. That, that's all mm -hmm. I wanted to share is just, just, you know, when you think about the personality of the show and stuff and realize that, all of us are here a fucking lot and each one of us yeah. is a huge part of this it's not just one person carrying this it is it is us as a group and it is the community as a whole that kind of makes this whole thing work and we do we, we joke and stuff but absolutely uh, our discord is my second family you guys uh, i i follow this mm -hmm, i keep mm -hmm. up with this and it's the reason you. i still do this yeah if you're listening, you're like I said, Discord, I don't have I don't have real life friends. It. So like the Discord, you guys are all my friends. Go ahead, hate. Uh, if you're listening to the show and you're not in the Discord, you need to get in the Discord. It's always hopping in here. Yeah, it, it's a good time. Yeah. It's a good good group. Sorry, hate. I didn't mean to talk over you. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to talk under you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll forgive you this time. <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, th so good job. This is a good time to thank the patrons, the uh, people support the show on Patreon, um, you know, given a dollar or whatever they can each month. And we pay for uh, recording software that <laughs> chews its way through technical difficulties uh, as best it can, like last week. And um, we, the rest gets sort of saved up and occasionally we'll be doing things with it. Actually, we did something with some of it recently and i don't think that that's not public it, yet well no it's not it's not public yet so i'll just say that there's a um there's a, a person who isn't on the show but is a fixture of the community and um uh so as as often as, as happens on around here um somebody eventually has the idea to say hey so you know let's do something for this person and it's like okay and here we go so anyway that's gonna happen and i think um by the next episode uh this person will probably know uh who they are <laughs> but in the meantime um yeah thanks to the patrons thanks everybody for listening Hold on, we're not and, done and yet that was a good we're not year. done yet no i'm not All done right. yet i just thought that was the right time to kind of like thank those people that in there. okay okay <laughs> yeah okay uh by all means what else uh, chick what chat else do you want to talk about yeah, I gotta, no, we I gotta, haven't uh, done that, have we? No, no. I let's do a sound. Oh, yeah, let's I forgot about a, that. Uh, they they want to hear me talk more. Yeah, they do. I, it's fine. It's fine. Chick Chat 2. You know, I don't have a Chick Chat 1. I noticed that. Isn't that funny? You're like Def yeah. Dev. Oh, well, Chick Chat 2. <laughs> it's Chick Chat! We here at Loose Screws never end a sentence with a preposition. The original. That's fitting. I like it. Yeah. Um, Why is it labeled two? What? Why is it labeled two? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think, I think actually the original didn't have Ty's voice at the end. I think that's what it is. Okay. This is going back a no, long time, and I don't. You, I probably don't even have the. No, original, you piece but, that. Remember, you made him read something you you yeah, had know, him and that I was the I, first I, time I, there was the chick chat sounder because we were like oh, I, like what the fuck is this i'm telling you i think i think i made one oh just and never as, played it after show. i heard it i had the idea to ask yeah i don't think anybody ever heard it but the file was called chick chat 2 because it was actually the second one i made chick chat also or chick chat the number two i'm just kidding I'm just being pedantic <laughs> you my can bad. read as well as i can <laughs> asshole <laughs> Uh, all right. This week, I, my favorite ever is when everybody's listing 
showing pictures of their doggos, and I, I want to give shout outs when this happens. And holy crap, a whole lot this week. Uh, well, first off, we had uh, we mentioned the Inara badges, where you can get all the different badges for doing your exploration and all that stuff. And our good friend Single Malt Scotty posted his, where he he finally collected them all. He Pokemon it and got them all. <laughs> then other people started posting theirs, and then I, I finally got mine later in the week to to match him and everybody else can, you know, get off your lazy asses and get some OCD and get these badges collected because it's kind of fun. Um, and then we got Boobtron posted Daggett, his his dog all bundled up in a blanket. I'm just going to name all the ones with dog pictures. Teflon showing Grace freaking out in the snow. Love it. Uh, nice picture of me at work. That's a good one. Uh, then uh, Drifty, <laughs> as hell. Drifty or cock sucking. That's why cats suck. Don't post pictures of cats. Did you guys see the picture of that cat climbing the Christmas tree? That's just wrong. <laughs> uh, Uraniborg posted a picture of his new co-pilot uh, named Buddy. Great looking dog. He gave a great description. I'll let you guys go see that. But then that triggered uh, Tracks to post a picture of his dog who may very well be the father of that other dog if you go and look at the pictures. <laughs> Mother, it's a female dog. But anyway. Oh, I was... They're, my bad. Definitely got cattle dog blood. So the the blue healer. You can, yeah, breed, you can see that shine through. You there. can see that in yeah. the covering. Yeah. They're both mixes. So yeah, they got different ears and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, a right. bluey it's, bluey. It a bluey it's a bluey dog. It's bluey. It's a bluey dog. It's a bluey. Um, then I post a picture of my dog, Jasper. Again, he gets pictured every now and then. And uh, actually, I just want to bring up this one real quick because I'm going through somebody named, how do you pronounce, Benevin? B Nevin, Benevin, I don't know. I'm going to go with the B being silent because we know how frequent silent Bs are. Nevin. <laughs> <laughs> if I took a That's grilled so cheese. Stupid. <laughs> I know. If I took 10 grilled cheese sandwiches and compressed them using a machine into the size of a small cube and ate the cube in one bite, would I be full? <laughs> That's so stupid, too. <laughs> It's so... <clears throat> Did you know it's impossible to fold a grilled cheese sandwich more than seven times? <laughs> <laughs> That's paper. Grilled cheese can be folded infinitely. <laughs> I, what I'm thinking is, if you compress it, it'd be, have to be a cube small enough that you could swallow it whole, and the density of that cube would be so... I think you wouldn't could be you even full. You'd it? be sick. Could you even lift it? It'd be like... Oh, Cartoons, and grilled cheese sandwiches, they, fuck yeah. You lift that. 10 slices of, 20 slices of bread. I don't know. <laughs> but be like those how many grilled cheese would sandwiches happen. would it take to compress down to create a singularity? That's that's my question. Would 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 10 regular size sandwiches fill you up, Jig? Maybe. <laughs> I, 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 I'd be willing to eat 10 in front of you and let, let us decide. <laughs> All right. Uh, then Grover posted his good old dog, Leo, uh, with his daughter giving a frightened look because apparently Leo growled. Then my favorite dog on the planet, Brick, <laughs> comes to say hello. Brick. That is Blue Penguin's little one-eyed dog Brick. that just looks like he don't give a fuck about anything. Cyclops. We'll get back yeah. to him. Then we had some food pictures. Amazing. Somebody, uh, Toby Toolbag, he's on a small island, small Scottish island. I don't even know what that means. I figured Scotland was a small island, but we'll move on. No. More pictures of Brick. No. And I think that's all the that's, dog pictures. Oh, no. Just not, that's just not right. Cal no. Oren posted his co-pilot Milo and him passed out in a food coma, which is good. And the dubs is 3D printing stuff. Now, I want to go back here. This is the key to Chig Chat this week. I put out the nomination to make Brick the official mascot of the Loose Screws podcast because he's this little one-eyed dog. If you've not seen the pictures in Chick Chat of Brick, you need to go see Brick. He is, I, I don't know. Brick's he's, the man. Yeah, he, he is yeah. He is what we represent. And Bloomington makes all these banners and flags for all of us. He needs to make a proper banner with Brick on it that we can use, you know, to... to I don't know, immortalize Brick status as our official Hell mascot yeah. at some point. So, Bloomingwin, get on that, buddy. As the governor of Kalarum, I am issuing issuing an executive order that, yes, he is is the mascot now. Yes, it is, it is Brick. That, that's how we recognize it in Kalarum. There we go. I, I, I figured it, I figured in Kalarum. <laughs> By rather, dictatorial decree. I, I was going to say, I'd, I'd assume it was a decree 
rather than an executive order or whatever you said. It definitely decree sounds right. So that's sure, that's all yeah. I have for Chig Chat. Hold on. I do I do want to make sure everybody knows the story about how Brick got to one eye. Does everybody here remember? Nope. No. Nope. So Bloomington has two dogs. And, and food only scraps three fallen, eyes. <laughs> food scraps had fallen off the table. And they were they were for Brick. But the other dog was going for it, and one of his teeth got caught in Brick's eye. Oh, oh my god. Yes. Yes. So, you so down in room. battle. Yes, yes. he, he lost, lost in battle. In battle. <laughs> yes. And I have a feeling at the end, Brick got that piece of cheese that fell on the floor and was okay in losing his eye in the process. I assume he traded it for wisdom. Odin. <laughs> <laughs> And cheese. And cheese. That, cheese. that eye is in Valhalla. The, the cheese of wisdom. Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. You could just say cheese. Yeah, just you cheese. Have to add those extra yeah, words. Yeah. That's extra <laughs> syllables we don't need. Everybody knows cheese equals wisdom. Well, if you sacrifice something for cheese that is wise. You've just Obviously. you're displaying wisdom. All right, random question. This is supposed to be a uh, recover to orbit button. Where is that these days? It's on the menu. Uh, the menu. Where is it? Pause menu. I don't know. It's in the pause menu. Hold on. I'm okay. in which space? I see I can't social see it. options. Help in the help. Maybe help. Maybe maybe. No report issue. Frontier support. Yeah, report an issue like that does anything. Um, All right, hold on, hold on. I can show you. Makes you feel I, better. I can look for it too. All so, right, so menu. Social. Options. Help There's nothing. Options. Options. No. Help and info. I heard they put this in the do you, game. But I, I'm do you stuck. have to be in the main <clears throat> menu? I think you have to be in the main oh, menu first. So exit to main menu. So I exit watched, to main menu and then go to help and see if I it's there. I watched Glass Onion, the Knives Out sequel. It was good. It was pretty <laughs> oh, good. there it is. <laughs> out. Stop recovery. Okay, so you can only see it when you're at the main yep. menu. You got to go to menu. All right, now let's see if All I right. hop back in if I'm back in space because I was stuck as shit. <laughs> they say there aren't deep valleys in this game anymore. I call bullshit. There are some insane valleys in this game. <laughs> Back in space. Um, so yeah, um, you're so data. I listen. That's on my yeah. list. I liked Knives Out. Yeah. That's on my list to watch. But I wasn't going to bring up a movie by that man on this show. Oh no! Is something no. bad? Is he a bad person? Right. Johnson? Oh, I don't think he's, I don't think he's that bad a person, but some people do. I honestly I'm I, I'm amazed he's able to make movies with how many times I've said he should drop oh. dead, but <laughs> oh. oh, I yes. I think, oh no. Is he movies he chooses to make. <laughs> Keep him away I from movies I like. That's all I got to say. I you know, I think Ryan Johnson made uh, hands down, the best Star Wars movie that there's ever been. Okay, now you're just... Uh, I was going to use an <laughs> R word that you're not supposed to use anymore. You're just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just saying. I, I mean, come on. He spells Ryan with an I. Come on. You know what? I'm surrounded by assholes. I did think his name was Rain for a long time. <laughs> I don't think that's his fault. <laughs> 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 kind of not his fault. He's right. You Lots know, of people in Hollywood change their names, though, uh, at yeah, this point. I, it's I, it's his, fault. his fault. And he made that fucking dog shit piece of episode eight shit. Randomly, I'm watching Clone Wars. I never watched the Clone Wars cartoon series. That is surprisingly so freaking good. good. It's not surprisingly good. It's always been good. You just didn't know. You're <laughs> ignorant. He's surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised. So it was surprisingly good to me. Why aren't you guys like, be mean to change? <laughs> yeah, you guys are defending me. I love this. This is a this is a it's great a turn of events. <laughs> How did you point Where? that out? <laughs> I'll be I'll be mean to Chig. I thought I thought that was the best of the sequel movies. Let's episode just all eight. Take a minute. I think the other two are worse. No, let's, let's seven just was take a minute. Tolerable. Nine let's was just uh, take a minute and everybody insult Chig. Okay, okay. Yeah. Chig, you're. Stupid, you're short, you're goofy looking, and you smell bad. Oh, was I supposed to take a turn? <laughs> <laughs> Redneck, red Chig, Billy. 
Jake, you looked super buff in that picture of you, and I was, wait, I think I messed up. Oh, you're <laughs> fucking it up, too. <laughs> Right. A onesie? Are we going to talk about the onesie? <laughs> a onesie. <laughs> the Christmas <laughs> onesie? <clears throat> and a Grinch onesie. It was awesome because, like, the GM, every time he walked towards me, you know, he'd be looking away. Then all of a sudden he'd turn and he'd see me. And just that disappointing <laughs> kind of head nod, <laughs> head shake every time. But then he was smiling when he did it. So, <clears throat> he actually, he, he appreciated it. And I had my best Damn, sales day I've had since I started sex working sex. there wearing that thing. So I have no regrets. See, it's there like you while, while you're filling out the paperwork with the customer sitting in front of your desk, you're just like sitting there quietly typing on the computer <laughs> while sitting. I just imagine that situation. You're just <laughs> sitting there typing away. No, it's all good. No, As the I, Grinch. Oh, no. I, I, I freaking like that's my desk in that picture next to me. I did yeah. all that decoration shit. I don't know if you noticed the little sled there. My wife put that together that has a little Christmas tree on it that had battery powered lights, had the bag of presents, and had the dog you know with the one antler tied to his head on top of the presents my wife put that together it was it was very impressive and like the salesman i mean uh, in a sales place you know it's a competitive kind of environment and stuff and they, they we can be pretty mean to each other like worse than you assholes to be on the show and they it can be some pretty cruel and even all those dudes are like dude that takes a big fucking balls i am impressed as shit that you came to work that way today so <laughs> and I, I i put on a tie so that i still was up to dress yep. code and everything else i was very professional i was wearing very nice dress shoes and a tie and and it was it was a big hit and i would do it again and will do it again you should i'm already thinking just, about a leprechaun outfit for march you should have pretended like there was nothing wrong with your outfit at all like anytime anybody <laughs> says denial. something just act like act like you have no idea what they're talking about i yeah, did like completely this. normal yeah and yeah, over the course like of the day i was stealing decorations from different parts in the building and adding yeah, you had them to quite my, a pile stuff. there in the photo yeah I, I i was stealing stuff as the day went on but then i ended up getting so freaking busy i my goal was we had a bunch of inflatables around the dealership i was going to steal one every hour until they were all surrounding my desk, but then I actually got busy with customers on a day that's <laughs> supposed to be deader than shit and had a great sales day and, and knocked it out of the park and didn't get to steal everybody's decorations, unfortunately, but it, it was fun. I, like I said, would do it again, and I, I don't I don't give a, well, if they don't like it, fuck them. I don't care. I'm, I'm going to have fun. <laughs> you know, customers loved it. You know, some people came in with kids and it was, it was, it was a good time. Next year, Wonderful. I think I'll actually do, like, instead of just a onesie, do, like, a full Grinch costume where the face and everything is is done. But we'll see. That's a wow. long ways away. Mm -hmm. um, all right. What what, you, what else? What other nonsense do you guys want to talk to? We're over two hours now on this episode. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, man. Jesus, I, because it's poop. the Christmas season. <laughs> Uh yeah, so I don't know movies, we're, we're, cheese. What, what do we, we got? Do movies? Do we do cheese? Do we do movies? Come on, oh, oh yeah. All right, fine, yeah, fine, 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 fine. The cheese this week is pepper jack, which is der a derivative of Monterey Jack, which is the original American cheese invented by Mexican Franciscan friars of Monterey, California. And as the name suggests, the cheese is flavored with sweet peppers, rosemary habanero chilies garlic and spicy jalapenos uh and it is a fantastic cheese i love pepper jack cheese i love i, I yep. especially love it on sandwiches absolutely yes, indeed yes indeed right what do you call what a cheese that, sandwich cheese what do you call a cheese that doesn't tell the truth Bacho unbelievable no <laughs> I wait we all did we, somebody else said at the same time as me the punchline to a totally different show <laughs> yep <laughs> 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 wow, that was oh good stuff. God. I also I, have another reason. I saved all that... the jokes from my advent calendar. I didn't tell any of them before. So, what Christmas film reason. stars Bruce Willis? Die Hard. Oh, Die Hard. That joke is so bad. <laughs> oh my God. What did the mozzar What did the ball of mozzarella say as it was getting shredded? I'm falling to pizzas. Uh. Get stop. Please make it stop. I, I love These a good terrible. joke, but I'm not having fun. What does cheese say to itself in the mirror? 
looking good Gouda. Yeah, these are these are terrible. Oh god. All right. <laughs> Anybody want to talk about movies? I will there will be say, blood. somebody else hit the crickets at the exact same time. I'm I did. sorry. That was double crickets. You guys <laughs> <laughs> inverted the crickets. Yeah, we can uh, cricketception. There. It, so it says here there will be blood is 15 years old today. Yeah, but I mean, if there's any more of these cheese jokes, there will be blood today. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Gangs of New York, 20 years old. So this is the Daniel Day Lewis day today, huh? Yeah, analyze that. What is uh, what does that mean? Is uh, that, a that was a good. That was a good movie. I thought maybe the old people would remember that. Well, was that? remove that one. What's that? <laughs> analyze it's that. Gone. Oh, it's that's gone. the guy's the therapist for the mob guy or something like that. Yeah, it's a Bruce Willis movie. It's the uh, it's the it's the sequel right. though. I was thinking of the. First. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It also has that that's one stupid guy from Friends it? in there. Yeah, <clears throat> it's fine. How do you get a mouse uh, to smile? And also say what? cheese. Come on. <laughs> Actually, that, I love that. My ears are bleeding. Right. Okay. Who the fuck starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. Hey. Jeez. <laughs> what did the mouse <laughs> say when he snatched the cheese without getting caught in the trap? I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. Shatter luck next time. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to wrap this up. Please. Everybody, if you, Do it if with you a wrap. Like this... Oh, God. No. All right. What? <laughs> I don't God know what happened. Damn these electric sex bands. He, yeah, you know, Jake, where was your stat on that? How many Matt Berry sound clips have we had on the show? <laughs> Put that in for next year. Okay, no, here's the biggest stat of the year, though. Number of times Jake make fun of Nurgle's age this year was like 142,000 times. <laughs> so I yeah. need new material next year. Yeah, we all, we all make fun of Nurgle's age. Everybody knows Nurgle's old. <laughs> <laughs> Even Nurgle knows Nurgle's old. Yeah, well, he doesn't know much on. anymore. Hey, Amen. Yeah, you guys, do you guys want me to start putting movies that are having their eighty to hundredth year anniversary in for Nurgle's sake? Yeah, oh, then I'll pay attention. Stuff you can get excited about. I thought oh. about asking him questions about the first Christmas, but oh, I will God. say <laughs> the original movie, the original The Mummy, is eighty years old this week. <laughs> No, it's not. Some, somewhere out there, Is there's it? a listener that yes, Brendan Fraser. Bingo. No, not Brendan the, Fraser must the not original. Be the original. <laughs> the original is 80 years old. <laughs> Have you seen Brendan Fraser lately? I almost <laughs> yeah. What was he just in recently? It was in something, and I'm he's, like, he's he was in the whale. whale. It's a suit, a fat suit. And that's a suit, but the he's whale. yeah. But have oh, you seen also, him doing interviews for it? He's not looking, yeah. not looking good. Yeah, he's, but he's he's like he's, super sweet, apparently. Like good guy, nice guy. Snow White and the Seven nice. Dwarves is eighty five years old, but not today. Like, oh, excuse just, me, like, I was wrong. The mum, the mummy is ninety years old. Excuse me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, guys, listen up. If you like the show, please give us a rating and and tell. tell I don't know. Do do the Spotify things, and if you do on Spotify, if you like uh, us on YouTube, if you watch on YouTube, you know, what do they say? Smash the bell. It's a me. It's a jig. <laughs> Smash the mom. <laughs> Smash the... Oh. <laughs> Thick <laughs> thought uh, anyway, booty. It'll help. All right, I'm going to cut this off before two... Wait a minute. Nonsense. Dubs, you Just haven't talked in a while. Say something. Uh, Goodbye, uh, everybody. Something. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's, um, yeah. We have a merch store on loosecrewzd.com and, and funds from that, and, and as well funds from the Patreon support, uh, all gets gets uh, kind of pooled to pay for the recording. It's our, it's it's more than we need for the recording, so the extra gets goes into gifts for the community and, and other things that we might want to do, um, and will happen as they happen. So thanks everybody very much. Um, another year. Yay! I got no plans to stop. See you next year. I hope you all. I hope you all stick with us through next year because we appreciate you listening. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks <laughs> for joining me you this like year. It or not. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining me this year, everybody. Chig, Dubs, Data, Nurgle, Hate, Teflon. This is a pretty full house. Actually. Yeah. We'll see you next. Time. See you next year. Yeah. See you next year, nerds. See you next year. Uh, uh, painful. Yeah. <laughs> Especially cheese. I mean, chick. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>